Rolling time! That's right. Oh shit, I just hit the microphone. Because I'm aggressive! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> you're back to roll some gold and chests and shit. Look at all this gold. Don't touch the statue. Those burned remains are starting to crystallize, whereas this was another villager that has escaped Sleeth. Wanted to be caught here and killed. Damn. What about this weird ass fucking thing? Can I? Let's go up to it. You you did it before. A strange statue made of light and mist floats above the pedestal. It does not speak but smiles warmly at her champions. There's an inscription at its base. Welcome to the market square. Square. May your trades be always profitable and fair. If you wish to request a what? A guarantor. Whatever that is of truth. For your transaction, please contact that administrator, Krisa. Krisa. Arisha. Alright. Oh, we, we basically 50% did the main quest. Look at that. What the hell is this shit? Snake statue! Time to fuck it. Stick my dick in a statue. Oh, wait a minute. The party walks through the hall. Eric comes to an abrupt stop. He's old. If anyone can quest injections, lays his open spawns on the food service nearby wall for a split second, his hands seem to sink into the stone. That's how I speak when I'm trying to not yawn while talking. Holy shit. That was weird. Anyways, he's sinking into the stone. Interesting. I have no knowledge of this substance. I'm not gonna fucking do the fucking. <gasps> Fucks my throat up. Radiates a mild enchantment. Yeah, I see beyond it. It's a secret. Sounds surprised human builders are capable of such materials. I'm already yawning. Oh, and I'm losing connection. Hold on. I saw that. It went into the red, it dropped like 100 frames, and I back to green. Great. It's one of those days, huh? When every fucking two minutes we have, like, red. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just contemplating whether I should stop right now or just power through it so we're definitely going to just lose one to two percent of everything today as well i could lower the frame the bitrate honestly this game doesn't really move fast not in combat not in fucking exploration honestly i feel like even 30 frames per second would be good for it but yeah I'll keep watch on that fucking network. I find it hard to believe that humans had mastered a substance I know nothing about. Perhaps the engineers had an assistance? Wow, racism! As if we are totally useless without the experience and knowledge of the Arabs. Racism! Racism! It's a magic wall. We encountered the one earlier and we ate it. It can be opened. We just need to locate the release mechanism. Yes. You see, we see a snake bowl. Ooh. Okay, snake bow. I'm guessing the snake statue is going to... Oh wait, the snake statue is in there. How is that a snake statue? Oh, those are X's. Snake statue, snake bow, and the chest. You see, map legend tells us. Let's go to the library, because we know it's locked, but uh, the avatar wants us to go there anyways. Oh, they just know that we are coming. They turned around so abruptly. Grand Library, warmest salutations to all who seek enlightenment. Please note that taking any book from these premises without written permission from the curator might by that curator's seal will result in murder. Hey, gold. I like gold. More gold. This is the other side of the collapse. Give us some gold. Oh my god, this thing is fucking... Stop. Fucking stop. Yes, I see. A lot of fucking enemies. Leave me alone. Holy shit. It's locked. Ha ha! Will you look at this door, Mr. Craft? Master of dark old, if I ever saw one. Now I am breakable. Good. Dark old? Right? I wish I had a diamond chisel so I could chip off a piece to show to my brothers. What is it with you dwarves? Racism! Always wanting to break or dismantle things. I'm truly perplexed on how your city stood as long as they... What? Why is everybody in my fucking party racist? Even Kane is starting to become racist now. Like, I know Mae was racist. And apparently the elf is racist, obviously. It's an elf. 
I mean, so far the dwarf is not racist, but even Connie is getting to it. So, fucking, uh, whatever his face is going to be racist as well. Rock him. Well, sir druid, I guess you can say it's our nature. We want to understand whatever we come in contact with. Among the folks, it says we are the greatest scratcher in all our tower. We built wonders from metal and gears, steam powered machines that ran by themselves, furnaces that never went up, and flying machines of metal that could move people. Holy shit. Okay, he's proud, not racist. When I be a villainy, my father taught me how to make small mechanisms from gears and strings. But it's nothing compared to what the stories tell. Same Akan could move the mountains. I came here to find out to steal be telling truth or love. Then you'll be happy to hear the tales of your people are true. What is this, a dating simulator? They are talking so much. We saw a vision with our own eyes. The land was once indeed home to the steam machine you speak of. Large as building and moving with incredible speed on steel tracks. And giant metal birds. That f we didn't see the metal birds. We only saw the train through the air without flapping their wings. Parelkers beard! So all true, I knew it! Deep in my bones, I just knew it! <coughs> you brought me more than joy, you realize, lass. Great. Oh my god, it's giving me fucking shit again. Stop. Stop! Stop it. So do they get morale for just having fun talks? No, they don't. They don't get shit. Alright, so, but it is, it is, yeah. No weapon, we can't break it. Wait, I thought... What? We have a second different conversation on the same object. Yes, we cannot pick it. We need a key. We cannot break it. We weak. And we cannot climb over it because it's actually... This walls reach to the ceiling. It's just gameplay mechanic that we can see through it, I guess. Probably not. Oh shit, skeletons. Standing there. Look at him. Gyrating. Ready to fuck us. Alright. Um, honestly, yeah, I, I think I concluded yesterday that this is pointless to just keep swapping out because the armor penetration on it and the extra damage on it is better than the shitty fucking fire that we get because they only have like 10% weakness to it and this guy doesn't have a lot of magic penetration so he doesn't care. He's gonna go armor penetration and just break people's face. However, he could put the extra shield on. Yeah, for better armor, I guess. Stay tanky. Ew. What does this even give? Garbage. Why do I even have this? Fuck off. Alright. Uh, my aim is... I could also break some of these fucking bows, honestly. I don't, I don't care about these. 23, 24... You sure you want to dismantle this item? I think I am sure. I think I am sure. It slows things, but it has fuck all for cred. Look at his crit. 10% less crit. Get the fuck out of here. Bam, three purple. It's a lot better than what, you know. But keep this, because we might have a new, you know, whatever. Ah, oh, this asshole. This asshole will put on the fire. And this thing, because these are a lot stronger. Yeah, like this big fire on them. Earth, they don't care about Earth, but oh well. 6.8, 7.4, 7.4, 7 7.4. Guess I could put this fire on. Oh no, wait, 7.0, 8.8. Okay, this. Oh, look at that DPS. Oh yeah, because it's faster. A lot faster. So is it gonna be like one hand is gonna go with two, 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 and the other was is it gonna be like po, po? Or is he gonna sync up both when he attacks? We'll see, I guess. This thing is garbage, and it's only a blue. Fuck off. Fuck that thing too. Alright. And then we look at Mustard Wolf here. Mustard Wolf. Um, 16.5. What if I just make you... Look at this. Garbage. Oh, I must have dwarf. So what are these things? Physical... So dude, these, these don't need to be... Don't need to exist. They don't need to exist at all. Okay, we have 29 purple. So if we start getting butt... Butt molested... 
you can just go back and craft some purple stuff. You know, like rings and helmets and a bunch of purples. Although I feel like it's better to craft the blues than purples. Because you can just upgrade the blues. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what are the skills? You can stay on that and the party heal. Why does it need to change? You can... I don't know which one they hate more, I, water or, or earth, but I guess I'll keep the uh, this thing. Because I can just put it on the uh, traps. And now we have multiple traps because this guy has fire runes. Now that will be good. But yeah, so fire runes, I chose the... Uh, the stun duration, yeah. Stun duration instead of explosion radius, because that sounds stupid. And got the inner fire as well. Alright. Hey. Hello. Do you not want to fight? Oh, no, they do. They were just waiting for us to go. What the hell is that? Battle mode. Defend two mana orbs against the... Oh, no. Defense mission? I don't want this. Large group of construct blade... Yeah, the skeletons. Oh, no, they have this asshole. Defend mono orbs. Enemies here are trying to destroy mono orbs. When all are destroyed, the fight is lost. Okay, so we only need to defend one completely. Alright, that's cool. It says all is lost if all are lost, you know? The game just. I think the game just crashed. Oh, I saw my goddamn thingy for a second. Alright. Pussies. So they can come from every direction, obviously. We're going to defend this in the middle. This here, I don't give a fuck about. A little long. In this combat mode, you need to defend the orbs. If all of them are destroyed, you will die. Enemies are set to destroy them at any cost. They will switch to your champions only if they receive some damage. Use this to your advantage. Don't try to attack all enemies at once. The groups are usually larger and stronger. Let them focus on the orbs, which have significant health. But you snipe those enemies that pose the highest threat to the orbs. Can I heal the orbs? Alright, ladies. So it says don't focus on the fucking enemies. Well, how about I kill you? Kill! Point. I never miss. Oops. Alright, so you augment yourself. You augment everybody. Yes. Oh, it even augments the orbs. That's nice. They have some penetration. You. It gives you resistances. Some armor. Put down some. Oh my god, they have such goddamn spread. Put that there. Alright, move up to the fucking march. Of course. This guy is melee. On my way. Go have some fun. Oh. Money. Money. Ready to serve. Are you attacking or are you being an idiot? Unleash hell. Monka! Head out! Run from the back, oh. Advancing! Dickheads from the back. At once, sire! Let's kill him. What the hell did you do? On my way. Put that down. You put this on this guy. No. Whatever. Um, just light yourself on fire so you can crit. My blade is yours to command. Need some healing. Moving into position. Acknowledge. Your Thank wish you. is my command. No, him. Advancing. All right, mystery. Oh, they're coming at us. Right between the eyes. Kill this thing. 
Uh, that was the closest enemy, and she started shooting everything. How may I help you? I can just get in there. At your service. Head out. Oh, I can see his cleave. That's nice. Oh, yes. thing is dead. Hey, I mean. Okay, come, come over here. So this guy has to go through the. Uh... Your wish is is he an archer? Plan. That looks like an archer. I okay, will deal with those boys. Going to just point. They have to come through here. Shoot them. Augment. Put this boy here. This guy has no mana whatsoever. Hey, come to me, asshole. Onwards to the fray. Yeah, I got fucked. My blade is yours to command. Money not done. Uh, do I want to do use this? Actually, he's got more than enough energy. Ready to serve, my lord. I can just do that. Is my command. Shit. Yes. Blade is yours, Yeah. Orders? There's something big coming. Yes, moving. Kill it. Oh shit. Yes. How may I help you? Yes, my lord. All right, they can deal with that. He's dealing with this thing. My lord. Having fun. Yes. All right, those are the last Ready enemies. Serve, do what we do best. Kill them. Easy. This thing took a little damage. I don't know if I can heal them or not, but it doesn't really matter. Wow, purple. Bunch of purple stuff. Nice. I like that. Oh, what does it do? It gives us no resistances whatsoever. Ever. Shitty armor. No armor pen. Less hit points. It gives us attack speed and less cooldowns. Uh, uh, kinda, kinda poopy. Kinda poopy. These boys don't really need attack speed. That was okay though. Small library. We have an enchant scroll, we unlock uh, ephemeric chains. Oh, there's the slow range weapons. So, if I upgrade her thingy bow to, to purple, it will gain an enchant slot, and then I can put that slow effect on it that was on that yellow bow I just broke. Eh. This bow that I found in like a first hour is still the best thing for her. Because it's crit. Old book. What is. What is time? What, what is that, though? Blinking. It's an anchor that defines our place and purpose in the life, and when our life ends, it just drops the chain of the sea of eternity? What? Or is it canvas on which the universe is painted? Our lies as tiny specks of color. Why you find this interesting? It's neither the time nor the place to in such philosophical matters. Exactly, and it's fucking stupid. This book is a series of drawings of strange animals locked in enclosures. Some of them look very fierce. It's a zoo book. Your party tries to take a book that looks particularly interesting, but it seems to be attached to the shelf. Oh my god, a secret passage. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Wait, these were inside the fucking... <laughs> that was easy. Okay, I can see it. Please, thank you. Door here is locked and barred on the other side. Oh no. What the fuck? Why is this over here? There's literally nothing there, so it's... It's not just barred, it doesn't exist. Why the fuck does the map do this? I like how the curious book is. Look, look at this shit. Stop it. What if I close it like this? Bring it up like this. Okay, then it, it holds. Oh, I think it's because I zoom, out, zoom in. And it zooms out like that. Because it's like, ooh, what the fuck? Stupid. 
Um, there's another old book we can read, and then we can roll the chest. Treat C on modern commerce. Champions fight a thick tome that loot must be 2,000 pages long. They open it at a random page. A sense of trade is equality. I must not profit from exclusivity of this street trade. To create economical imbalance. Disastrous in the long run. Don't we know it? Must value is time. Consume resources accordingly. What is purpose? Create these fair judges. Ha! <laughs> Corrupt. Corrupt judges. I can hear my cat meowing outside. And I want him to suffer, so I'm just going to roll the chest. A purple sh uh, helmet, not shield. Out of eight steel of carnage. A better resis, a little more armor, health, movement speed, attack speed. No health increase, same crit. Oh, that is also of, of carnage. At 5% health and mana though. Not, or 4%, it's not much. Gets more movement speed. I mean, she gets attack speed as well, which is nice. So I'm gonna take that. Keep this purple. And I guess I'll kill this green. Uh. Look at how many purples I have and I'm like low on greens and blues because I crafted so many of them. I didn't have to roll that one, that's okay. What the hell? Armor stands. I stand your champion says, strange piece of armor made of unknown material. Just take it! Champion says, beautiful piece of armor on stand. Impeccable, shining as if newly polished. Why don't you take it? There's a, there's a forge, which is nice. But first, let's check the snake bow. It might apply bleeding or poison. Or both. Snake statue. Oh, there's the statue of commerce. It's a snake, obviously. 10 10 plus thingy equals 52 1. How? 45 times 12 equals 7. For a speaking statue, since someone went to greet the lanes to keep this statue hidden, it's more powerful than the others. Be cautious, everyone. Math doesn't add up. Speaking nonsense. Mm, my hearing is exemplary, thank you. What do you want? And you see I'm busy! 16 divided by 26 equals 3. Damn straight. Who are you? What is your purpose? I am a guarantor of truths. The fairest statue of all. It's still a fucking lying snake, dude. What are these truths you're guaranteeing? Most important of all, truth of commerce. Guarantee that exchange rates are accurate and that goods traded are valued properly in exchange for an negligible commission. I am essential to the stability of trade within the tower. By my will alone, the foundation of a strong economy exists. I'll be gone, I'm busy. Unless you have gold, do you wish to invest? Sure, I saved before, I think, so yeah. Current rate of return standard stands at 7.8% compound per annum. Per annum? I'll give you 50 just to humor your ass. Kane puts the gold onto a narrow plate at the base of the statue. The plate opens and the money disappears into the dark chamber below. Clinking and rattling sounds echo deep below the floor for many moments until they eventually trail off to silence. They've invested in the 10 year bond. Random, minus the 25 gold administration fee that you didn't even tell us about. You will receive 53 gold in the year of 1010. S. Please return upon maturation. A decade. I don't mean to say you will really expect us to return to this place in 10 years. I warn you against mixing finances and serpents. Please. Honor less thieving scoundrel. Please. Oh well. Yeah. I'm gonna give it 500. We don't need gold. Boink. Oh yeah, a bunch of gold. We get 30 gold back. In 10 years, we get 30 gold. Profit. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to fucking deal with that. Not even going... Actually, let's talk to it and say no. Fuck you, snake. Right. Seem to remember some ancient human tale about a woman in a garden and snake with ulterior motives. Yes, the Bible, and it's fake. I mean, what? <clears throat> There's something about a boot! Ah! <laughs> Makes my skin crawl. Oh, yeah. 
That's a scroll. Plus one speed. A hey, LMAO. There can never be a perfect unison between body and mind, yet the Master Archer can achieve such between body and bow. Great speed is a thing of beauty, a joy to behold. Isn't behold one word? Because a joy to behold is, you know, like someone is holding you, like embracing you. But a joy to behold, as, a, as in to look upon, is one word, no? How the fuck? Spell check this shit. Yeah, terrible in a fool. Alright, cool. Point. Plus one speed. Woo! She's a fast bitch. Yeah. 65% extra. Holy shit. So that's point 0.3. Wow. <laughs> Snack bow. Let's see. Is it garbage? I'm breaking it if it's garbage. It's a little faster. A little stronger. Garbage penetration. Garbage crit chance. Health increase 20%. Health per hit 5. Wow, it's a healing bow. So she can be tanky. That's so cool. Can't believe. Get the fuck out of here. Ass. <laughs> I will never say goodbye to my crits. Never! Because it's still more to just crit. Alright, so I can just upgrade her bow to purple. Just put that fucking thing on it, right? Although it's still better to upgrade greens to blue. As we learned. Green ring. It's a shitty green ring. What about this thing? Days, magic pants, seven. Kind of poopy damage, though. Oh, it has 4% increases on that. What's the magic property? Extra earth resistance. Whoa. Sugoi. Earthproof. Look at him. 23%. Whatever, I'll take it. It's something. And we'll have to fight orcs, so, you know, it's fine. So we are in dead end. Let's go to this other dead end. And then we can keep venturing forward to find the key for the library. Storage area. This looks like a storage area. Some containers here, but all empty except the gold. Gold is never empty. Cool. So we really only have one place to go now. It's down here. South! Where they took the key. Definitely going to get ambushed. What's happening? Cutscene! The races soon abandoned all research into new technologies. They grew complacent, weak. Even the elves, usually reserved and aloof, became consumed by this newly found omnipotence. Why waste time and energy if you could get everything with a wave of your hand? Why grow crops if you could summon up a table full of exotic delicacies and noble drinks? They drank and danced all day and night long, and they all ignored the first signs of the change. People began to fall ill. One by one, their senses began to fail. Their sight, hearing, taste, nothing that a short burst of power couldn't heal at first. But the more power they absorbed, the more serious their illness became. Some became paralyzed. Some stopped caring and stood motionless, just staring into the sky. Some just stopped eating and died. And then came the visions. People started to see things around them. Dark shapes floating in the wind, circling, watching, waiting. The Void Manifestations. Magic was just some kind of parasitic force that fueled these creatures from beyond the veil. And once they got strong enough, they turned everybody into a skeleton. Woo, spooky. What an absolute waste, throwing away a century for labor and progress for quick and easy fix. Addiction is a strong drug. Wait, what? Ah, said Druid, but don't be go quick to throw stones. The vision showed a few elves in more than a red's full of male and magic. He can't speak, he's, he's turning uh, 
<clears throat> Our words. Indeed, I highly suspect whoever is responsible to these mental presentations is a bit of a dramatist. Hey, Bob. No, I'm still playing it, man. Just off stream. I'm playing it for myself. I just don't understand how they didn't put two and two together and realize it was the magic making them sick all along. If it is far easier to judge a situation when one is not in situation, Maeve. Wow, he's so smart. I guess, but when people are dying, it seems someone should have been paying more attention. Perhaps they didn't want to pay attention. Hedonists are so are often blind to the harm they inflict, both to themselves and others. Wow, Hedon. Ooh, a small chest to roll. Let's do a manual save. Ooh, what the fuck is that? 50 mana points. Hmm. Hmm, 50 mana points. What do you have? 40 mana points. Health regen. 60 mana points. Pa! But this gives 3 armor, and he doesn't really need that extra 10 mana. It's the same spe. Yeah, the armor would be better for him. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah! Break that piece of shit! Weapon rack. Upon closer inspection, your champions find that all the weapons are in poor condition. Of course they are. Odd bones. These look like remnants of another village and they ran away from Sleeth. Next name and party find an old note. You can make little off the charred scrap of paper. There are rusted pieces of metal. Why are there so many items here that are in pristine condition while others have decayed? Well, some are made out of plastic and yet and thus they shine and the others are made out of just iron and they rust the fuck away. Dark wires. To build, there are some scraps of wires. Is this game soundtrack? Or is your stream start music still playing? It's the game soundtrack. It's a repetitive garbage. I'm trying to close it or to just push it out of my mind. Thanks for making me realize that it's playing. <laughs> the wires are twisted together and linked in a chain. Very, very light yet incredibly strong. It's a rope. Made out of wires. Empty barrels. The interior of each barrel is dark red. Wine. Old blood. Wait, can we not pick them up? It's copper wires, man. Copper wires. Oh. Apparently we can't pick them up. Sucks. I'm constantly waiting for an ambush. Hasn't been a lot of ambushes in a while on this map. Okay, so we got two places. There is an axe here. But we don't know what it is yet, and there's a teleporter here. Let's go for the teleporter. No problem, thank you. I'm so glad. Boxes. Empty boxes. The orcs ate everything. Except his chest. It's not a small chest, it's not a relic chest. It's a chest. And thus, it's weird. Oh, it's a lower chest. Fucking lower chest. Sturdy chest. Sturdy chest, standing on the table. Is that a table? Oh, it is. After a very long time tinkering with the lock, your champions finally open it. Inside, only motes of dust. But I mean, come on, take the chest. Inventory increase. An extra chest. Money! Oh, another tome. Sleet's note 3. I've captured two villagers. They feign ignorance of the key, but it is so expected. Even these simpleton villagers know to fear my wrath. I will secure them up in the prison quarters, interrogate them later. Feckless fools! I am alone and responsible for saving a world. I alone shall lead. None shall stop me. Alright, cool. He's turning mad now. I guess he came to terms with his own murderous behavior, and now he wants to kill more. That's a lot of gold. Holy shit, a thousand gold! Yay! One old book. Notes 4. Those miserable vermin told me nothing. They per perished far too quickly. How did they defy me? Me! I and I alone understand the world. Only I have the will and skill to wield the power. Who are they to deny me? I to steal from me. Bah! Ignorant fools. They have distracted me from my work far for far too long. I can waste no more time searching for the key. Other measures will be taken to open the library door. Explosives? All the knowledge contained within will be mine then. And they will see. Every single one of them who questioned me, who dismissed me, they will pay. All pay. The price will be high. 
I'm sure now the library must contain the secrets to open a bridge between worlds. It is the wealth and abundance of other worlds that will sustain our own. Oh, he just wants to pillage other worlds. Nice. I will take their food, the water, and riches. They will labor for me, worship me. For I will build an empire unprecedented in scope and greatness. Artara will not only be reborn, it will extend across the heavens themselves. Wow, he's turning real weird. Oh, there's some big fucker. Are you a skeleton? You look like a skeleton. Look like one of those dudes that do damage. Kinda just want to avoid you. Oh, and you have a wraith that leeches life. That's fine. We don't need to... Actually, don't need to talk to this guy. It's just, you know, walk around them. Easy. Boink. That is ass. That is ass. 30 gold? Give me something better. Now you're talking. At least blue crystals. I'll take it. Oh my god, this one has good resistances. Doesn't give that extra 40 health. No. But the resistances are... Pretty dope. Yeah. One shield to rule them all. In shieldness, bind them. Reconstructed area. Ceres undergoing heavy constru reconstruction. The orcs are clearly spending a lot of effort to rebuilding, on rebuilding this place. So, orcs... Oh look, it's one of those healthy fountains. Nice. Let's see. Uh, let's give it to this guy. It might be some healy healy. Heal. Mana! Mana plus 10, huh? Who needs mana? So have you watched any Kevin Smith movies? Who the fuck is Kevin Smith? Oh, fucking, uh, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, the clerks. I've seen all the clerks, even the newest one. I, th I think I've seen one of the uh, fucking uh, Silent Bob movies. Um... Not much, though. Not much else. The third clerks was kind of shit. Alright, who needs mana? He kind of does, because he runs out quickly, even with this cheaper dash. He doesn't need the extra mana, because his regen is through the roof, thanks to the... Uh, I don't even know what... Oh, actually, he doesn't have it. She has the uh, regen ring, yeah. But he still is pretty okay with mana. What are your skills cost? 40, 50, 40, 30... Yeah, actually, the dwarf is going to take the mana. Rachel gets the mana. Whatever his name is. Siege entrance. New teleport. The party travels the dark halls by Kenny's torchlight. Torchlight 2? The dwarf... Also, he even looks like the torchlight guy. Kind of. One of the guys in Torchlight 1. I think the guy that gets transformed, transmutated in the first, like, hour, and then gets murdered by the player character. The dwarf catches a shadow from the corner of his eyes, causing him to flinch. Are you alright, Master Smith? Alright, there's mud hole on a hot summer day. Why do you keep jumping at every shadow? Do you think no one noticed? Ah, damn it, I'm a little on edge. I hate fire. Was that blasted vision that bit about the dark shape circling overhead? Don't tell me a tale from ancient times as you spooked. Nay, it's not that, Sir Druid. See, my people have a legend about dark things from another place. Things that a gnaw axe or hammer can harm. Things that come from thin air and drain your life before you know what's happened. Something from the vision makes you think these two dark creatures are one and the same. No, laddie, nothing from the vision drew that comparison. But the more I think about it, more I can't help but feeling it true. It true! Ooh. I'm trying to watch all his movies that are in the Clerks universe right now. 
Good luck. The first clerk is fun. The second one is okay, and the third one is trash. <laughs> In my opinion. <clears throat> Any construction supplies are stored here. Scavenge from across the tower. Supplies. Long pieces of well matured timber lie on the ground. Mature timber? Old enough? The inscription on, of the unplug. Siege weapon testing grounds. Authorize access only. Well, I'm authorizing myself some access. Be on your guard. We now travel in orcish territory. Okay, advice caution. What nonsense is this? That's the spirit lass. Let's just charge them and take them by surprise. I was being sarcastic, you know, joking. The orcs are dangerous opponents. They're clearly entrenched here. Kane is right. You should be cautious. Bah! It's human humor. Who can understand it? Do you, Sir Druid? Oh, this incessant battery banter only serves to give away our position. I highly urge you to cease at once. Giant siege machine. Siege machine! From, our ch from your champion's vantage point, you see a large force of orcs standing guard. In the distance, you see a battering ram of monumental proportions. They want into the library. What purpose could such a siege weapon serve underground? They want through the door! Bitch! It's so obvious. Where's the battering ram? Oh my god, that's a big fucker. Big stinky fucker. And they have a cool staff. It's probably the... Oh my god. Is that two groups or just one? There's just 12 movies to watch? 12?! Jesus. Already watched one. Middle of watching second. Started watching the stream. You should go back to the movie. That's probably better than the stream. <laughs> Well, now we know why the orcs have concentrated their attention here, giant battering ram. I wonder what they intend to use it on. Use your brain, Kane. If I can, you can too. Such a horrific device at the hands of these savages. I believe they could sunder every, even the legendary gates of Elven Kingdom. Bah, you exaggerate to do it. Those crafted the gates of Lothrian as a gift to the Elven people. This made dark gold reinforced with obsidian. Orcish ram would splinter into a million pieces. If you insist, but seeing as you, as we are not in the Elven capital and do not stand protected by its gates, I feel somewhat vulnerable. If your party manages to finish their conversation. The Avatar is coming. That's a good point. Yes, yes it is. Unless, I mean, what what is the second movie you're watching right now? Let my cat in. He was suffering too loudly. Mole rats, I've never heard of it. What it's about? Plan to use it on the floor below. They're going to dismantle it to pieces and transport it in preparation of their siege. Ah, so they don't want to go into the library. That would have been too obvious. I've been debated. I don't believe my eyes. Sprite that to piece something there. Oh yeah, this is the first time he sees it. Ah, these Master Smith. Otar is just a silly ally. My apologies for not appearing sooner, I have been possessed. Nothing you need to be concerned about, but rest assured I have been watching you closely. As for this war machine... WAR MACHINE! The orcs have scavenged the long abandoned equipment here in the tower to construct it. It is based on an old blueprint they recovered. A blueprint you, too, could possess and build your own WAR MACHINE! As long as the orcish leader draws breath, they will defend this weapon to no end. If you plan to destroy it, you must defeat their leader first. Why do we want to destroy it? I say let them use it on whatever they want to use it on, on the third floor. And once they break through to whatever they want to break through to, we can kill the orcs and take whatever the fuck they broke into, you know? Like, come on, let's just wait and see. Kill their leader first, again. Severing the head of the snake is going to make the snake safe for eating. And then you can eat the snake to recover some health. I've been watching some Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Be warned, the leader is a very old and powerful creature. I would advise finding a way to weaken it before you challenge it. Orcs have roamed our ha your halls for many years. As one duty-bound professional to another, can you tell us how to weaken the leader? Search the nearby area. The orcs have been using explosives to mine the ore for their forges. Explosives? ex what -ifs. Power and dangerous ancient technology. Powerful. One guy ruined the grant for his girlfriend's dad. With a school principal. 
Broke up with him, so he tries to get back by ruin ruining a game show that her dad is making in a mall. So he ruined something, and then the girlfriend is like, fuck you. And to get back the girlfriend. Oh, he could. Oh, he tries to get back at them, not get back with her. I mean, you need to specify that part. You know. Sounds so interesting. <clears throat> yes. Round metal balls with a small rope protruding from one end. Just light the rope and then throw it at fast as you can at whatever you want to destroy. The explosives won't be enough to kill the leader of the orcs, but it should be enough to significantly weaken him. Others with your knowledge, Avatar. You're in your depth. Putting it on a little thick there, Kay. Thanks for the advice, but we've managed to defeat everything they threw us at so far. I don't think we need your shit. Courtesy, High Courier. She's trying to help us. I think I see a good spot to be throwing range. Range throwers. So we need to go there and just throw shit at the, uh, the giant orc. I saw a fucking portal mission. Since you're in the mood for sharing info, one is troubling... One thing is troubling me. Why did the orcs build this machine in the first place? When the creatures below have stopped the orcs' advance. In a last desperate act, they plan to use the battering ram to break through the walls below and avoid their enemy altogether. Creatures below? What creatures? Dragons? And what's waiting for us on the next floor? Well, if you continue with your mission, you will find out. LOL! <laughs> Search the Wikipedia if you want to know. After all, you've handled the danger well until now. <laughs> Well, he wants to get back at her dad and back with her. But, but the girlfriend left him because he ruined the, sh some shit for the girlfriend's dead. And now he wants to get back with the girlfriend by ruining another thing the dad is doing. How is that logical? The Tower Avatar doesn't like to be forthright, does she? Fortnite? <laughs> is it me or do I sense a slight animosity in her tone? I don't know why any of you fault her. She's just a hologram, an AI. She's just a Cortana. She doesn't know. As long as she doesn't know, I will not care. Besides, small bones that blow stuff up sounds like fun. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care reading all their fucking banter. It's so pointless. But it's full of building materials. Shalala, excavated rocks. Some builders. Boulders are as big as a horse. How did the orcs manage to move such heavy objects? Have you seen some of the fucking orcs? They're huge. Stupid. Let's stay on the top here and check what it leads us to. Let's it stay on top. La -de da la -de da It leads us to gold. And a teleputa. Marble balls. There we go. Champions find a lot of small marble balls with strange symbols painted on them in white. For a moment, they think that they have found the cache of explosive out our mention. There's no rope sticking out of them. They have no idea what purpose they might serve. Leave them where they are. Gun balls. Oh, I see a chest. Oh, I just... Ah, oh, it's a chest. Oh, is that... Oh, that's the portal mission. It's gonna be... Goddamn orcs! Orcs everywhere! Holy shit, that's a lot of orcs. Alright, let's try to do this thingy mission. So orcs hate water and air. These are going to be shit. Water. God damn it. This fire is still better than air than earth against them. Yikes. Also, keep using the water skill, fire, fire, and air. She's got the W. He's got air as well. And I guess it's as good as it will be. Portal! They got a bunch of shit. Nothing new. Oh, they got the elite snag. Not normally. Have you heard of My Name is Earl? I think. I think, uh, I think I know what you mean. Or what you, what you're talking about. My name is Earl. A TV series. The Situational Comedy. Oh no, one of those again. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I know about this. I never watched, never cared. I don't know if you're explaining it well, you're not a good describer of stuff that isn't made by you. That's fine. Folks have set their main base here. Destroy all three portals to prevent them from summoning reinforcements. Each portal is a summon point. Three portals now. Don't judge for- serve, my lord. Holy crap, it's big. Well, we're just gonna run at one of them. We're going Otis. to run at this one. Moving into position. Fuck it. Affirmative. That's a quick one, that's a very slow one, and that's a medium slow one. Alright. Your wish is my command. Get in there. Fuck him. Fuck him in the bum. Acknowledge. Yes. Um. Alright, let's. Service. Let's put on our shit. I never miss. Yes. Money not done. Okay, that tower is fucked. There we go. Moving in one. Affirmative. <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> Critical chance, fifteen percent. Affirmative. Right. Between the eyes. Get your shit down. Hey, I mean. Put your thing in there. Yes, sir. Yes, moving. Yes. Sir, Sami. On my way. Now he needs to get closer. Yes. Money. Manga. Monka! Look at that. The main characters of My Name is Earl appear and interact with each other in Mobile Rats. It doesn't matter to me, uh. It means nothing to me. Fun Bob. Yes. Let's move her over to... Oh, wait! I never even noticed this. Look at that. That's a portal. And what they are doing and how many enemies they have. Those big fuckers are going to attack us in like two minutes! You have two minutes to destroy this one. What the Sorry. fuck are you doing? Get in there. Wave's energy is kind of low, but she's the one with the highest energy regen, so she's gonna Ready to serve, regen that. Lord. Like how the ant is already going. How long will it live? Twenty seconds. Shoot them. Acknowledge. Coming. Coming. Money. All right. Uma de la. Onwards to the fray. This guy just ran out of energy. Are you kidding me? You're going to go that way? Heru Amin. The portal. Unleash hell. Just keep killing this thing. Of course. Uma de la. Yes. Holy shit! With that arrow barrage and the uh, quick mono regen, your arrow barrage could become really fucking 
dangerous against orcs and anything that doesn't like air. Pretty weak, but, you know, by the time she's done with all the five arrows, she can basically use it again. That's why it's a uh, thingies. It's a recastable stuff. Then again, it costs... how much does it cost again? 40 mana. Every, th every like, three seconds or something. That's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So I don't really want to use these uh, auto-cast abilities. A lot of tools. Some of them are made of dark gold metal. It is incredibly strong. A piece of armor made of this would be almost unbreakable. But take them. Why don't you take them? Just take them. Well, another one of these Elden Ring trees. I missed some chests. Oh. There's the explosives. Magic explosive. Nice. It's just there. Got the refraction armor. Ooh. It can refract. It's probably gonna be garbage. Let's grab this chest. And by grab, I mean grab it, and then grab it, and then grab it again. Just roll it. Chaotic Steel Bow of Carnage. Oh my god. 20% instead of 26. 6% 6 reduction, but the damage on it, though. Have we found something that's worthwhile to swap? It's faster. With almost the same damage. It can stun Days Blind. 4%. Eh. Armor penetration is 6 less, which is... Yeah... Not good. And the crit is 6% less. She does have... I think she... Yeah, she has these boots that can... Uh, offset the critical. Only 3. I don't know if the range is different on these. Or maybe it's the same, who knows. So she's gonna be a lot faster, so the 4% stun days blind can be okay. I don't like the armor penetration lowering though. I need to put this on though. For her to get that crit. Health increase, mana increase. Oh yeah, but that has a bunch of other stuff. Why do I have this? This gives attack speed as well. Lowers resistances significantly. But I mean, she doesn't have any, to be honest. Lowers her mana and health even more. I want her to stay on 30% crit at all times, at least. Because with the upgrade, it's 45, or with the uh, ability, it's 45% now. Could be more. But in uh, long, long fights, her mana is going to run out, even with the mana, mana amulet. Doesn't lose a lot of mana, and the health I don't really care about. Yeah, 3% crit, so she's got a new weapon! Hey! <laughs> We're keeping the crossbow, but we don't care about those little hand bullshit things. Let's go grab ourselves this chest. Or we could go get the refraction armor. I mean, this is a dead end if we just throw the uh, explosives. But yeah, let's get that. Come on, go, go up the fucking thing. What are you doing? Jesus. Ooh, a giant crane. Must be how the orcs are transporting items to the lower t level. Ooh, this must be. More explosives. Right. Two more saves. Yay. Gold. Refraction armor. What'd he do? It does a lot of resistances, as I thought it would. Refracts. 
Less health points, again. Ugh. Health regen the same. Movement speed plus one. Two life, though. Hmm. So 57 health into 54. Yeah, but the minus, 50, minus 30 still hurts. Resistances would be awesome. Armor would be worse. Should give it to this dwarf guy. Give him some resistances. He loses attack speed and health increase, but he gets two life. So he barely loses health. His health regen goes down a little bit. His armor, armor goes down a lot. But I mean, his resistances go up. By 12% for everything. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a shield to protect him. It's raining outside. Um, plus, with his whatever the fuck, this thing, he gets 15, 8, and 8. For these. So while this is up, 40 seconds. 15, 8, and 8. He doesn't get any. Actually, no, wait. What does he get? Earth and air. Oh, yes. It doesn't get water. 15 extra fire. That's good. Earth and air are so decent. Yeah. I'll keep the refraction armor. There. There. There's no turning back now. No turning back. I hate this thing. Right. <laughs> Throw stuff. Whee! First explosive. Your champions throw the first explosive at the Elder Earthcaller. Explodes with a loud bang, but does little damage. Beast looks at your party, annoyed. It does not react. He's like, what the fuck was that? Second one, go! Hello? There you go. Boom! Your champions throw the second explosive. This time, it does have a visible effect. Creature charges at your party, enraged. Uh oh. Wait, from there? But it can't reach us. Oh, but we might be able to kill the... the oh, wait, what? We are on the top of the fucking thing. And it charges us. From the bottom. We... What? 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 Who decided this was a decent idea? This is stupid. Like, what the fuck? We have a vantage point. We are throwing shit from up on high. I was hoping that it charged us, so, you know, it wouldn't be in the party of these guys. But no, apparently it just attacks us. What the f fuck is the point? They got everything under the sun and the leader. Orc leader is standing before your party. Uh, standing under our party, thank you very much. It's hogging creature, although it's big, it probably can reach us. So that's just RP that it kind of walks to us. We are trembling in fear, soiling our pants, we cannot run. It just grabs... You know, two people with in each of its hands just throws us down from the uh, vantage point, from the walls, and then the entire party of his boys can just encircle us and attack. Uh, there you go, explained, easy. In his prime strength, commands powerful magic and can summon orcs to his aid. Prepare for a very difficult fight. Fuck you. Eight thousand health, hundred percent earth resistance. Waff. Fire is what we want, actually, on this guy. Instead of water and air, we want fire on him. What? What can he do? And how did we damage it? Leader of the orcs, it is hard to say what kind of creature it once was. An earth color. Prolonged use of magic had turned it into a being of immense size and devastating powers. Creates an earth storm with 3 meter radius, 6 seconds. Just get out of it. Fury totem. Totem condenses the air around your champion's radius 6 meters, slowing them down. What the fuck is this, a fury? Knockback hit. It's the ground with giant fists doing 60 damage within 25 meters and pushing away all champions in rage. Holy shit. 25 meter range for this thing. It's like half the map. He will be just knocking back and dealing a bunch of damage. That's, that's a lot of meters. Greater Magic Reflect. It reflects 50% of direct elemental damage from the scale Spectre Caster. Does not affect summoned creatures or damage per second effects. Duration. 
Okay, so once he does this, I need to pay attention to this because we'll kill ourselves. Root prison. Strong roots raised from the ground. Rooting, locking targets inside for 12 seconds. But what's the range on this? Hey, this is gonna be shit. Ready to serve, my lord. This is gonna be shice. My lord. Affirmative. My lord. Consider is that it? Done. That is it. Will do. Fuck Unruly. him. Fuck him with all your might. I never miss. Fuck him. Money not done. At your service. Okay, so this is Earth, so he doesn't care about that. He cares about that a little bit. He cares about water a little bit, but not too much. I want to whittle it down as much as I can. What is that? Close. It's dust things. I guess we are rooted. Oh, fuck. Who's hurt? This guy. Alright, put down your totem. Piece your armor. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Holy fucking off. Let's finish more rats. That was fast. Did you watch it in 5x speed or what? Wait, it's coming at us! How long are we stunned for? Holy shit. For honor and glory. No, that's not what I wanted. Yes, my lord. Oh my god, he's still on Take cooldown. Position. Stop! Acknowledge. Monka. Monka. Um, put this guy down. Get out of dodge. Get out of dodge. Stupid fuck. Yes, my lord. All right. Go back to kill this guy. Yes. Fucking guy is dying. Dwarf. Onwards to the fray. Shit. Between the eyes. He wants us. He wants us. Okay, that guy died so fucking fast. What the hell? It. So they summoned one, one Earth caller, one crossbowman. A second crossbowman just came out, and that was it. It was him. Wasn't he supposed to spawn people? On Oh, there's the uh, thingies. One explosive, health minus 500, armor minus 4, resistance is minus 10, second explosives. Health, health minus 1500, armor is min minus 6. So is it minus 10 armor, or is it just this is the one that applies? I hope both of them apply. I didn't check his actual armor. Resistance is minus 20%, damage minus 20%, okay, so, you know. If these work properly, if the game is properly coded, because I don't know, then, you know, these worked well. Because, you know, I, I learned in Fallout, with Fallout 1 and 2 that half of the game didn't even work properly. So, you know, I can never trust fucking numbers anymore in games. Oh well, that was pretty fucking easy. I thought this was be was gonna be hard, but no. So in prolonged fights, it, although this wasn't that prolonged, I thought it would be a lot more prolonged. But fucking uh, Hakim or whatever his name is, Rakim, runs runs out of mana super fucking fast. Super fast. Also, he also runs out of mana super fast. Obviously, they don't have a lot. Dang it! Got some stuff for it. Got a heavy glove and a staff. 
some stones and some gold, not a lot. Go X speed and there was just like 20-30 minutes left. Are you watching it online? Probably, right? Of course. Probably online. Of course! Of course! Alright, what are these things? A little more resistances, less armor penetration, more health, 10% attack. Again, a fucking attack speed one. We don't care about it. Then again, it's a little more resistances. Fucks his armor penetration, though. Which is pretty important. Then again, he deals a lot of damage overall. Sure, give him some extra. Because this guy stays with this, because this gives him a lot of... Uh... Actually, this is starting to be garbage. Oh well. We got a staff. Purple staff is Earth. Earth staff. So it has, it gives us some armor, some resistances. Again, it's a fucking chaotic one. God damn it. Magic pen, health and mana bonus. Attacks per second. I don't like the staffs. Look, these are both chaotic. It's so fucking annoying. I don't like the chaotic one. For very slow weapons, it's not worth it. Let's put the uh, put these things back. If we killed the orcs, they shouldn't be a problem anymore. Ah oh, well. Of course, it's online. All right. So speeding it up doesn't make the voices chipmunk, you know. Oh wait, these didn't die. Scheisse. Water. Oh, we have an air staff though. Fuck it, just use that. Let's use your shitty air staff. 9.5 deeps. This is... Oh, this is Earth, yeah. Sure, use your shitty air stuff. Hello, guys. <laughs> A grey shaman? What? I thought we killed it. Massive orc, led by another grey shaman, is gathered here to protect their leader. They will not let you pass. Fight might be the only... The most difficult your champions face so far. Is it going to be more difficult than the boss fight? Because I feel like it is going to be more difficult. You know. Yeah, this we, we know the shaman. We, we fought him before. Stupid My blade thing. is yours to command. Okay, so they can come from anywhere. Let's just start the battle. I never miss. Moving into position. Ah, Go I see that. For honor and glory. You just kind of. Pump yourself over there, kill this guy. Shoot them. Upgrade. Okay, so it affects anybody in in the red, right? So he needs to move a little. Sire! Going to put on your defense. At once, sire! One. Right between the eyes. Yes, moving. Go dwarf, go. On my way. Get him. How may I help you? He's getting fucked a little bit. Yes. You're wondering about it earlier and wanted to Google it, but you never did. You wonder why the voices don't get high pitched? I don't know either, but it's very good. Uh, I'm glad the technology is there because, you know, otherwise watching YouTube videos and Twitch VODs faster would mean they would all get chipmunked. I don't know how it's managed to not be a uh, thingy. Maybe they they make it like low, lower pitched by the same amount. As it would make it high pitched, I don't know. Although if you put the put a YouTube video to like 3.5, 4x speed with that extension you showed me, uh, it, and then put it back to normal speed, it is noticeable that it, it is a little higher pitched at 4x, but 
you know, the uh, the Vanilla 2X maximum speed up, uh, it, it's ba basically, uh, you know, the same pitch, which is cool. But it still, it still gets higher pitched at very high speeds. And I think at 4X, uh, about 4X speed, you can't even hear. Like, it doesn't play sound anymore. So, you know, it's... Can go up to like 50x or some shit, but <laughs> it's pointless. At your service. I don't know how it's done, but I'm glad uh, the technology is the technology exists because man, it saves so much time. Okay, who do we want to kill? Oh, dude, my ape is our MVP. Wait, what the fuck is this guy doing here? Unleash hell. Unleash hell, my ape. Get wrecked, pussy. My blade is yours to command. I'm gonna put the dwarf to just roam her. He can just roam. I never miss. I'm just gonna go Maninata. closer to the end. At your service. Heru Amin. He's soloing that fucking thing. He's not having a good time, out. but that's fine. Lord yes, Warf, do your thing. Yes, of course. Oh shit! Amir Hold on. Vera. There's garbage coming yes. here. For honor and glory. Unleash hell. Ew. Yes, it's Dwarf sir. man. Shoot them. It's fucking dead. Only 37% killed so far? Oh, he also needs to be a roamer because he's just getting himself killed. Yes. Without retaliating. Manka. Manka. Ready to serve, my lord. Maninata. Shoot them. I dwarf now. Use your healing. There you go. Oh, he killed the guy! He's getting everybody now. Cool. Um, Affirmative. Look at him there, killing everybody. Holy yeah. shit. I love him. Alright. Alright. These two are being a little weird. How may I oh, help that's. Fun. Um. Put your. Get closer, I guess. Is that melee? Oh no, it's not melee. You kill that, you move up. Apparently they just use some yes. algorithm to pitch shift it back to the normal, normal enough. Hey, that's what I thought! So yeah, they, they put it down with equal, in equal amount. Alright. Sounds simple enough. Put that shit there. Put that shit there. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, she just soloed that thing. On my way. Kill this fucking thing. Hey, dick. Consider it done. Oh. Money. Ah. My blade is yours to command. Right between the eyes. All right. My blade is yours to command. Boink. Look at all that damage. Lord. Amazing. Look at my is not even not even running low on energy. Money not that. Affirmative. Shoot them. Well, what's happening here though? Your wish is my command. Out of there. Moving out. Onwards to the fray. Uh oh, that's Money not cool. Martin. Wait. Oh no, he's, he's stunned, but he's not. Oh, he already put it down. She yes. I never miss. Yes, my lord. Advancing. Ready to serve, my lord. Oh, that's the ant that's hurt, of course. You just say right between the ass, right between the eyes. But I mean, hey, could be both. Moving 
into position. Shoots things in the ass. Blind it! There you go. Unleash hell. Still not the last guy, I think. But we can move up a little bit and kill it. This guy got hit once and he was already missing half his HP. New boss stage. Oh, that's the boss. Okay. My blade is yours to command. Gross. Okay, the boss might be the last, actually. Money Shoot them. May the light guide yeah. your path. Affirmative. Yeah, heal the heal the elf. Money Put that in there. Give us some resistances. No, it's coming at us. Yeah, it's fucking dead. All right, that was the last guy. Sure, it's more complicated in practice. Yeah, of course, but you know, it's a simple enough solution. It works, and it makes sense uh, why it would, you know, it, well, it explains why it would uh, get higher pitched with the mod, you know, the. Uh, the mod that lets you go higher speeds than 2x on YouTube. Because they probably didn't code it for that. So it gets uh, some errors, so it doesn't pitch it down properly. So. That's, that's pretty good. That That is abysmal. What the fuck? One green gem, 30 gold, and some shitty hood. Probably shitty. Let's see if it's shitty. If it's shitty, I swear. I'm going to quit the game. Better armor, better health, better mana. And the same skill power and mana. Okay, so it's not shitty. It's a very tiny bit better. Great. <laughs> it's a tiny bit better. But the goddamn crystal and the, the gold. So the game is literally encouraging me to, to save scum chests and roll them for the highest uh, reward. Because these fights... Especially the long ones, it's not worth it to redo them for a higher roll. So stupid. Alright, we get another champion, veteran savage orc. We get an enchant scroll. Obsidian shield 1, increase armor by 5. That's kind of... I think I already have better enchants for shields. And we get a siege hammer. Oh, baby. And the orc spattering ram. Looks like some kind of orcish siege weapon. Oh, they built something like that. We already know! What the fuck? Aren't we... Weren't we supposed to destroy it? Also, can't we just... So, we were up here. Throwing shit down. And the big guy charged us. And somehow the small guys also could, like... Uh, weird. Anyways, we got some big-ass hammer. Siege hammer. Very slow. Very strong. Cleave damage 60%, cleave armor penetration 15, 30% crit chance, minus 2 might. Whirlwind 2, cleaves all enemies in a 4 meter radius for 40% damage. All enemies, oh. Holy shit. So it just spins, minus 2 might though. I mean... Even with minus two might, it's probably stronger, right? Seven point, yeah, it's still twenty percent. So the damage is plus plus eight percent from plus sixteen. So we lose eight percent damage, but that's fine by me. This is pretty good for him. That is amazing. He's just gonna go in there and just spin. He's gonna spin. I like that. I'll keep that weapon for a while. Oh shit! Almost forgot the chance. And some gold. So there's this chest, and we're going to roll it. It's a relic chest, too. 50 gold might be the highest, but two green garbage? Okay, let's see the armor. The armor might be good. Good armor, worse resistance, better health, better health regen. Health and mono increase, but we lose the life. What does this guy have? Oh, yeah, this guy has the Lord's Blade. Oh, the Lord's Plate is going to be out of fashion soon. Or out of... Actually, it might be out of... Uh, style already. So we lose 15 health, but we gain 4% health in mana. Ah, oh, that's still garbage. 
percentage is still not enough. Cheat day. Load that. Load this puppy. Oh, 52 gold, a blue and a green crystal instead of two green, and a blue ring. Hey, I'll take that. Blue ring, what do you do? Armor penetration, magic penetration, movement speed and attack speed. Oh, I like that. Attack speed. So she's got health point with health regeneration and one armor. And mana, movement speed, attack speed. Okay, so... Remember re... Remember ring is going to get thrown away. This one gives nothing. Yeah, it's just uh, 10 health and 1. So he loses 0.5 health regen. Gains 1 speed. What? Oh no, wait. This Wait, what? Oh no, this is 30 health. The 0.5 regen. This is 10 health. Oh, this is the one with the speed. Yeah. Okay, so this is garbage. 10 health, 30 health. 1 health regen. Oh yeah, so he loses 0.5 health regen, but he gains 20 extra health and 1 armor. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool beans! I got to some money. We didn't need the blueprints for the... Uh, what about Smacallis? For these fucking things. Yeah, for even for the dwarf, I don't have the goddamn blueprint. Yeah. Don't upgrade anybody. Sucks. You don't get any alignment bonus. Alright, so this corner is done. There's this battle we skipped, and then this way. So we are still looking for the key of the uh, library. And this this was basically just a side objective. Kill the orcs because they're stinky. And so we did. Oof. Oof. Alright, so I guess fight these orcs now. But their stuff is okay, I guess. Oh wait, these are not orcs. These are skeletons. Stinky skeletons that don't like fire. 13.9, 16.2, so that's even still better. And I can put the little fire wand on. How does it... How does it lower the DPS? What? What in the fuck? So I guess he can't attack with both of them simul uh, you know, separately. He needs to wait for them. It gives 2% magic penetration. But it doesn't add it. Oh, maybe the highest percent magic penetration is the... What? Wait, what? So he's got 4% magic penetration by default. This one gives an extra... Oh, he's got 2%, because this one gives 2. So this, is in this increases by 5. Uh, this one is 8 magic penetration. Yeah, so that's less. What is this, earth? But this one adds the magic penetration. Not fully, just 50% of it. This one didn't add it. Even the one plus percent for 50%, it didn't give. That is weird. Monkey shit, 17.3. No, that's not bad. I've been done 5. Ooh. Wait, where is this? So this one is a purple earth stat, earth wand. 1720, 1720, 1316. This one is the highest damage. 
but it's slower. Same, you use the same, and you use the same as well. I should just break these down. At this point, this is not worth it. It would be worth it if we had like a spell, spell mage, or a spell sword. Not spell mage. Spell sword who would be like, you know, uses weapons, like melee weapons, but instead of armor penetration, they do magic penetration. But I mean, we don't really have that. This earth. Uh, Axe though. Still useful to cape, I feel like. This thing is shit now. Don't need this. And they don't need this two handed either, because what he has currently is just superior. Yeah. Keep the earth thing. I'll keep the fire one, I guess. So our inventory is doing okay now again, so we don't need to break things if we don't. One, two, where's quick save? There it is. I swear I pressed F5 and it didn't do shit. Hello! Du -du 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 -du. So it's the same goddamn shit. Health stealers and these assholes. But these assholes are not as bad as the other ones because these do the uh, damage aura instead of the uh, defense aura. So if you can just hose them down quickly with my Ave, you should be okay. Whoops. And they don't like fire, but only minus 10, 20%. Oh, they don't like earth either. Nice. Long stream of large enemies are approaching your party. Can you defend against such tactic? Such a tactics. What? Using traps might be a good idea. So it's gonna be a lot. Alright. Yes? Yes! They can come from anywhere, so we should huddle down in one corner. And just wait for them. Heru Amin. Let's go. Moving into position. Consider it done. Hey, buddy. It's fucking dead. All right. Oh, most of them come from that side. Well, that sucks. Yes. Bodish. Affirmative. Go back to being puppets. All right. Oh, this is gonna Break suck. Wait, I did say traps would be a nice idea. They would... It would be a nice idea. My lord? Affirmative. And, uh... Money not done. How may I help you? Money Marte. Yes. Put your boy in there. My blade is yours to command. All right. Yes. Or traps. Money. Problem. At your service. Oh, he just murdered that guy. Onwards to the oh, kill. Ready oh, this guy is just serve, standing Lord. here. Alright, his, his magic is going away, but he has the uh, magic regain oh, thing. Way. Oh my god, he just kills. Love it. Unleash hell. What is this? Drain. Oh, he's being drained. Yes. Um, Moving into position. Fuck you. Heru Amin. Yes, moving. Who's? Advancing. Heru 
heading out. Stop, it hurts. Moving out. Oh, he's gonna I die. Or not. Affirmative. Your wish is my command. Heal him up a little bit. I am a lord. Onwards to the fray. Ready to serve, my lord. Yes, sire. Yes, moving. Stop it. Money not done. Okay, just go in and kill. These are the last enemies. Advancing. Fire. Look at this shit. Dude, 96 crits. 196 crits. Holy shit. I think that was the dwarf, though. Because he also has some decent crits, right? Yeah, 30% crit chance with this thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So we got two crit people. And two no crits. And we got some purple pants. Pants for my Ave, I guess. Better defense. Some penetration. Health. Health regen. Movement speed is fine. Health increase. Loses one speed. But I feel like that's okay. It's 4% attack speed, I think. Yeah, that's alright. Got some extra defenses and some health back. Penetration is also very good because, you know, this bow only does 2 instead of the 8 she used to have. So now she's back to 9. Got a 15 armor penetration, though. 36% crits. That's why I'm not destroying this, because I'm still kind of on the... On defense. Fence about it. Wooden table. The staple is repurposed to serve as an interrogation device. The champions look with disgust. The caked blood covering it end to end and the woeful tales to which it stands testimony. Alright. Gotta go guard. Prison. Or we can go this way. Might as well. Left wall here has opened the passage to a section of caverns. Ah, I see some moving lights up ahead of us. Gunny lads, gunny. Gunny indeed. Orcs, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? There. Got some orcan. Orcan, orcan. Ring of thorns, ooh. What the fuck is that? An earth golem or something. But they got the chest to roll. Chest. Okay, a purple with 28 monies. And the shitty glass ball of poison. Glass? Two handed glass. I got a purple, so I guess I'll take that. But this mall is garbage. Yeah. 5% stun chance. Even though it's a tier 2, I think it's a tier 2, right? Because it's glass, not steel. Huh? It only gives one jam for breaking down. It sucks. Oh well. Let's check what this thing does. It probably doesn't care about earth. Champions see a towering mass of stone and earth. The creature makes no movement, simply stands guarding the passage, watching the party from the corners of its eyes. Okay. Hey there. Earth Guardian. Oh, it's a boss. Great. 200% Earth resist, so it heals from Earth. Great. Rock Barrage, Jagged Stone, Reflective Aura. Great. Fire and Water is what we want. Fuck, you know. 4000 health. 60 armor, so armor piercing is also nice. Lesser Earth Elementor. Lesser! Guarding the dead end passage. Its armor looks nigh impenetrable and it has very strong earth based attacks and skills. Engage only when you are ready. Area is enchanted, increasing health regen to both your champions and the enemy alike. Oh. It reflects physical damage doubt, both melee and range. Oh shit. Could Maeve just crit, crit kill here herself? She could. 
<laughs> Jagged stone. If there are no targets in melee, throws rocks <coughs> to close this target. Immobilize target for 10 seconds. Cool, kill it. Sire? Where does it come from? Come! Oh, it's right there. So, enemies and enemies regen 6 health per second. And we only regen 2 per second. That is not fair. 6! Holy shit, so every damage we de so the overall damage we deal is going to be just 6 less, basically, because he overheals that. So, we have some uh, armor and magic penetration here. 3. But this gives us earth damage that will heal it. So this might be pointless. Although it does penetrate uh, magic as well, so the fire will be stronger. Yes. Fire will definitely be put on. Yes, sir. I think it's it's earth damage. All right, so that's gonna be fun. Ready to serve, my lord. Just, just go at it. Everybody, just go at it. For honor and glory. You go at it hard. At your service. Put some fire on it. Put some air on it. Oh yeah, so the fucking ant is not going. To oh wait, actually the ant is good because it deals physical damage. Okay, put that guy on. Go in there, man. That on yourself. Stage. Yes. Someone's taking a lot of damage. Heal. Onwards to the fray. On my way. Ah, fuck. Really wants this guy. We get a granite shield. Nice gems. Granite shield. What does granite shield do? Garbage resistances, same armor, plus one movement speed. Damage reflection, 30%. Retribution, 1. Reflects 30% of magical damage, physical damage, before armor. Back to enemy as true damage. Ooh. That's cool, but he'd lose 9% resistances. And 2 might! So 8% damage. Actually, only 7% damage. You know what? Damage reflection scales better than the 2 might. Because it's 30% instead of just 7%. And the enemy's damage is probably higher than his. His damage is kinda poopy. This is a tank. Sure. Attribution 1. 30% physical damage before armor. Back to enemies 2 damage. Shield buckler. You can add this to relic items. Oh yeah, because this is a relic item and it has it. They can put it on shields and bucklers, but this thing already has it. Too bad we can't put retribution on other things. To stack it <laughs> would have been nice. Oh well. Oh well, Ring of Thorns. Ooh. Oh, it's a tier two. That's actually a tier two. 
Six armor. Thorns one. This 25% of total owner's armor value as physical damage. Ignores armor. Per second in a four meter radius. 25% of his armor is physical damage. But it is true damage because it ignores armor. It's not a lot. So that's like seven... I don't know, like eight damage per second. It increases armor, so it would be more than eight. But I mean... What else does it give? Minus two movement speed. Oh, that sucks. Although he's pretty fast and he can dash. Two armor, two armor. Armor penetration, magic penetration, movement speed. This is kind of good because of the penetration. Without this, he will not have health regen. I don't know if this is good or not. He doesn't have health regen. So he might have to use his fucking... Uh, use this. For ultimate self-heal. We'll see. It's honestly like... 39 armor, so... Let's say he has 40 armor. Because he can have more armor, you know? He can, he can do the reinforced armor with this. It's an extra 5. And, um, but this is only penetration. Then this is only elemental, right? Yeah, elemental resistance. And this is only a personal stuff for this guy. So he, he can have 40. That's like 8. 8 damage. A little more than 8 damage per second. But enemies have like... Fucking... I feel like that's not good. I'm going to keep it, because he might have some extreme uh, armor later on, where it might make sense. But even, even a shitty construct crossbowman, 200 health. So 8 damage per second is nothing, especially when we have murder machines like Maeve that do like 100 damage with crits, and then the dwarf with 196. Yeah, it's, it's not good. Getting rid of all his health regen, I mean, it's not much, but, you know. Although it would make him tankier, by a little bit. Sure, keep it on him, fuck it, he's a tank. Shrine of Stone, let's see. Before your champion stands an ancient statue. When they approach, they can feel the waves of energy wash washing over them. A deep voice suddenly fills the cavern. Have you come to receive a boon of stone? Approach and be blessed. Which of your champions should receive a reward? Plus five of armor. Well... Alright, thanks. <laughs> Alright, cool. Nice, nah, got 44. Easy. <laughs> that ring is already getting better. Nah. And also, once he removes this shit, his health regen comes back. I just need some better gloves for him. Actually... What if, what if they swap? Although that is a resistance gauntlet, though. Yeah, he keeps the resistance gauntlet. Dwarf actually needs some speed because of the slowest fucking thing. Because with him being that slow... His inner fire is pretty bad. Because inner fire benefits... Okay, sure, it's double for two-handed weapons, but... Only 4 mana per hit, and it costs 40 to do it. He needs 10 hits in 40 seconds to break even with the mana. I mean, the defenses are good, but still, fucking hell. Dwarfman needs to be faster. More mushrooms. These mushrooms grow in the dark with soft purple light. They look so alien. Champions begin to question whether some of the strange flora of the spirit of this place is native to Artara. I mean, the orcs came from another place. Ooh, look at that. The key to the library. Easy. Like, 
Behind the waterfall, hidden between two large rocks, a glint of something metal catches your party's eye. Every tree is an ornate key, engraved with tiny books and scrolls. I wonder how many people have lost their lives over this simple piece of metal. Wasn't there another, like, hidden stuff behind a waterfall? Might come back. Stop my Mary. Let's go back. The stairs are blocked. So much time freezing. Press the event further. And families. Yeah, Jemmy. It was I who stole it. I hid it. He's looking for it. Oh, this is what they are talking about. The key was the thing they were talking about. Not some kind of loot. Jimmy, I stole the key. Ha ha ha. What do we have? There. Okay. Oh, what? They come. These fucking armored cyclopses are so annoying. 25 armor. Holy shit. Of large and elite orcs has made the cave their home back on the side of your party, hoping to be entertained by your champion's demise. And then they can yes, feast. My lord. Feast upon us. Money your go at these fucking things. Wee! Threat generated. My lord. Actually, you yes, know what? Moving. Go at these fucking things. Yes. Sora! For honor and glory. Fun. Yes. Money. Right between the eyes. No. Shit on a stick. Going. Ah! She got fucking pulled in. Yes, sir. Unleash hell. Is yours to command. Got fucked. All right. Monka. Lemerna. Monka. Oh, never mind. You need to go back. At your service. Money, Marte. You'll get his little tree boy as well. Deslolale. Shoot them. On my way. Moving out. Uma de la right between the eyes. Money not done. Yes, moving into position. Shalala. My lord? Yes, moving. Stop. Heading out. Yes, moving. Murder. Yes. Something wicked this way comes. Unleash hell. Heru Amin. Seas Amin. Shoot them. Mani Marte. Yes, my lord. Mani Nata. Hey, get fucked. Manka. Manka. Anybody from there? No. Good. Money. Go. Orders. Onwards to the fray. Holy shit. May the light guide your path. Oh shit. Money Marte. Something Unleashed wicked this way comes. Blind it. Yes, my lord. Oh my god. Deleted. 
And the ant just soloed the earth color because the ant doesn't care about any earth damage. Holy shit. Decent gem. I mean, decent gem being the best gem that we can get. Uh. 10 health, 0.5 health regen, 1 speed. 10 health, 0.5 health regen. He would, re he would remove 1 speed, but he would gain 2 armor. 0.5 health regen. What does he have? Mono mono regen. He needs that. Mono mono regen. Mastery is good. Alright, what's the armor? Oh, look at that, 7 armor. Play with percentage. Oh, this might be for someone else. This guy. 48 armor now. I mean, now that he has the fucking Ring of Thorns, he needs more armor. More armor constantly. He used to be 500 health, and now he's only 400. What the hell happened? <laughs> What's the 100 health in a couple hours? Oh yeah, because his shield had an extra 40 health and mana on it. I am so stupid. And I broke it. Well, I forgot. Yeah, that, with the extra percentage, that was a decent, uh, decent bonus. And it's gone now. Even less re his fire resist. Look at his resistances. It's back to shit. I can't afford that. Cause he he needs to be a tank on all fronts, not just armor. While this is pretty nice, he needs everything, especially that he. Look at that. Four sixty six. Put him down. To, yeah. No, we can't. We can't afford that. Resistances would go garbage. You have to gain some health. Lose life and health regen. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, he's on 500 health now. That's pretty cool. Okay, piece of shit. <laughs> Alright. Cool. An ancient chest. Ooh, spooky. That's not good. That's not good. And that is probably also bad. It's another heavy. Decent armor, though. Actually, pretty good armor. Extra health. Health regen. Okay, this is definitely for the other guy. What do you have? Okay, the resis are the same. Armor is better. Health is better, health regen is better, movement speed is 1.5 worse. Attack speed is lowered, but he doesn't care about that. His movement speed is getting really slow now again. But there you go, there's his... Uh... There is his armor. Sure, I'll keep it. We got the key, but we still have some stuff here, apparently. That was the waterfall. Enchant scroll, we need that. Um, so yeah, we can't really go up there from here. I don't know why the game is telling us that we can. There's no connection. The map is wrong. It's wrong! Stop. Any ambushes? Come on. Ooh. I see a lot of gold down there. Ooh, nice! Safe, safe! Champion finds crystals. The champions lean over the wall, they have a good vantage point over the area, they see moving lights in the distance. As always. Nice. Okay, so I press F5, 
and it takes like a couple seconds for it to kick in. That sucks. Oh, what the fuck is this? This guy is dead. Crystal Construct. Your party wonders what is the story behind this strange construct laying here, discarded and forgotten. It is made entirely of blue crystals, interlinked together with some strange wires. Whatever had happened here, it must have been a very long time ago. The crystals have lost all their shine, not even reflecting the light of their touch, of their torch. But only a few small shards scattered on the floor, still emit a timid, timid blue light. Well, whoever wrote that text and whoever made this model, they did not agree. This thing is bright as fuck and shining. Everything. Mana Steel 1. 3% of damage dealt is recovered as mana. Ooh. Ranged weapon. Okay. Which could be staffs, stuffs and wands and staves and wands and shit. The stone things. Relic chest. Tell me your secrets. Oh shit! 50? Okay, this is a good roll. And this is purple as well, so if you don't like it, we can break it. I, I'll take it. What does this do? Protecting gold amulet of twitching. Spazzing out. Armor. Health and mana regen. Attack speed. Cooldown. Okay. I'm keeping the health and mana increase on this guy. Obviously. What do you have? Oh yeah, you have the mana regen. Which helps, but she still run runs out if I use her barrage pretty much all the time. Attack speed though. 4% only. Yeah, I don't care. 50 mana, 10 power. Or mana regen. And that cooldown is good for him as well. Because he's, he's fucking. Even his totem is fucking 40 second cooldown. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't doesn't even tell us what the actual cooldown is. Or maybe that minus 4% just doesn't do shit. It should, but... The 50 mana is one extra cast. Basically. Oh. They both give armor. That's the same. Ten percent power, though. Oh. It's the healing totem's power. Nineteen per second. Twenty-eight per second. Oh. Seventeen. Oh. Twenty-six. Well, minus two for all. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Wait, he has no health regen. What the fuck? Okay, so we're definitely keeping the uh, this on him. So he gets at least 0.7 health regen. What the hell? I didn't notice. Now he's got 2.2. Hello? Oh, it bugged out again. Great. Or maybe he just froze. 2.2 mana regen, yeah, sure. Boink. Yeah, this is still better than the other one. He he also barely has health. Actually, no, he has no mana regen. Jesus. Jesus! Alright, so that's done. Touched all the crystals. 51 purple crystals. I could go back to city and craft a bunch of purple tier 1 items, but I feel like I want to get the uh, the upgrade for the forge to be able to make tier 2s. Unless I can already. Hold on, let's let's check. Can we make? Can we make things? No, still can only make tier 1 steel. But I've started to find tier 2s already, so you know, it would be nice. Oh well. Shattered construct. 
So now we can go here and then we can do the library. Get on with the main mission. Please on. Got his bones in it. The scattered remains of men who had died shackled to it. Good. Massive gate. It is locked tight. Your party has no chance of opening it with brute force. There's a blueprint, so we need to get in there. This is the likeness of a prison. Strange. Yes, it's called a prison. <laughs> Strange to place it so near the city's main quarters. I don't think it is original a prison. Look at the size of those doors. I thought they were built to hold some prisoners of immense size. More likely it was originally a storage area of some sort. The question is, why would they need a prison? Uh, okay, Kane, we read the notes and we know why the prison was made into a prison. Oh, we can't open this, but <laughs> we just walk across. Okay, easy. That skeleton was so stupid. They were like, let me out. Dude, there was nothing here. <laughs> Basics of engineering. Combination of magic and technology known as technomancy. Oh, actual technomancy. It's common back in the old days. Today you have that knowledge of some simple incantations and creations that would probably be nothing more than the carnival tricks used by the ancients for the amusement of children. The artificer or artificer hall is as yet a place of such basic learning. Ooh, nice. Get the fuck back. So we can increase this, and thus, we can upgrade the dwarf to level 4. We still don't know how to transmute, so we're going to do that to, to the dwarf. First, Rock Rockham! Welcome to level 4, Rockham. What did you get? Fireball. Throw us a giant fireball. 3 meter radius, a bunch of fire. So that's basically the Ice Cloud Earth Fury, but fire. And it's one. 30 second cooldown, 60 mana. Yep. We have blindness with fucking Maeve, and it's pretty pretty good cooldown, and it's it has range, so you know. And he's blinding stuff. I mean sure it lasts 10 seconds, and hers only lasts like four. Yeah, I should upgrade her thingy. Make it five second duration. Ah, oh, Jesus. You also gained level three of this thing, which is another two mana per head. I'm gonna give him this. Look at that, pretty good. His fire barrage can be upgraded. Number of hammers thrown, which is pretty good, five hammers. Because health per hammer is basically 20 that's a hundred health almost 95 health or it can do armor reduction for 20 seconds no I'm gonna do the number of hammers so he has some kind of heal that is better the outlast didn't get anything for the uh, fire runes sadly Still got two points available. Which sucks, because we can't really do much with the two points. I mean, I could do one thing here. Reset threat, or do elemental resistance debuff. It could be a debuff, man, with blinding flash and fire barrage. Fire barrage for armor, blinding flash for elemental resistances. Which might be pretty useful later on. But right now, we don't really care. If I do this, for 50 it gives 6 mana per head. Too bad the cooldown or the, uh, the duration doesn't go up. How expensive is the fireball? 60 mana, holy shit. So basically we only want to use this on things that have a very bad resistance to fire. Basically a very big negative. More than minus 10%. What's his magic penetration? Nothing. Alright. 
All right, he gains some points too. So mastery would be pretty good for him. He's got a lot of health already. Holy shit! Let's give him to mastery. What is this music? What the fuck? Oh, increases mana region in combat after 10. Sure, he's gonna be mastery in life. I mean, he does have pretty good magic. Fireball is, you know, a lot of damage from mastery. Fire barrage for his healing and also deals fire damage. The fire runes also deal more damage with the fire. His defense goes up with uh, fucking mastery. He's gonna be a better tank than fucking Kane. I might need to get rid of Kane as soon as I get a fifth character. Although, kinda, kinda feel like I want to keep the two humans. I mean, racism, right? <laughs> Did I put every points? Yes, all the points are put. Cool. Should we craft something though? I want to see the focus stones. So tier 1 is amber stone. We can have fire. Oh, these are the elements we can craft. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I kind of want a, a water amber stone. Focus stone. Or a water staff. Wait, what does he not have? How do we go back to the inventory from here? There it is. So you got an air staff. Earth staff and a fire staff. Don't have a water staff. However, between the tier one fire staff and the tier one fire stone, the staff deals more DPS, but then it doesn't. What? How the fuck? Staff has more penetration. Than the stone. But the stones can be dual wielded. I'm gonna make a water stone. Yeah. Let's make him a water stone. Because they're better than wands, right? What what is the uniqueness of wands? What do they get? Dex per second, magic penetration, not much. Fire and Earth get the same thing. Earth is faster. Earth is fastest. Fire is just whatever. Uh, air can daze and water can slow. Ah. Magic pen. Skill power increase. Okay, these are the same. So air gets the chaotic one, slow stun days. And gets more skill power increase, what the hell? It costs one extra green though. And the water gets... Reduced damage. What? Oh yeah, it has less damage. Actually no. 20 to 40, instead of 20 to 28, what the hell? This is the weakest. 26 32. These are all over the fucking place. Crit chance. What? Water has crit chance. Yeah, I fuck, fucking what the hell? But wait, these are f amber, these are the stones, not even the wands. I wanted to check the wands. What the hell? Magic penetration. Magic penetration. Oh, I already checked them. I'm stupid. What is with the stars? Staves. Extra mana points for a fire. Resistance is for the earth one, okay. And health and mana, and armor. Even better resistances and armor for the air. That's pretty good. Crit chance, magic penetration, slow. Oh. 
It's 12%? Ah, I'm gonna make a water staff, fuck it. Esoteric wood, wood staff of flame, of course! <laughs> it's a burning water staff! <laughs> Made out of wood, that's on fire! 17 magic penetration, 12 crit chance, okay, I'll, I'll take that. We got an air one and a water one that are almost the same, but the water is a little darker blue. So we got water, an air, an earth, and the fire staff. Sure. Seventeen percent magic pen. Fuck that thing. It's garbage. Reduces on mana. Yeah. That's 12% magic pan. 12%. 8%. It's garbage. There. Gives a lot of resistances. Alright, cool. Goddamn magic guy is going to have a lot of fucking different staffs and... Staves and wands and stones and shit. But I mean, that's what he's for. Oh shit, our first mechanical dude. Mechanical guard, look at him. He can just go past. Or we can just go past, but no. Inside the cell you see a strange figure. A lifeless construct of gears and metal, caked in a thick layer of dust. Oh, Samurai machine! Would you look at that? What a marvelous relic! Arkham approaches the construct, touching and prodding every square inch of the machine, even between the legs. After a few moments of rotating gears, pulling small chains and twisting buttons, the gears of the construct suddenly spring to life. Prisoner number 4525 is not allowed any visitors. Please leave immediately. Arkham stumbles back, shooting a quick glance to his companions, his face full of confusion. With a moments of lively dispute erupts. Oh shit. I hope I saved. Uh, over what to do with the strange mechanical contraption. I don't even know what's there. What is that? Something is glittering. It looks like it's just gold, but there might be something on the table. We're gonna kill it. Although it is very old and rusty, it does look formidable. Why I suggest leaving it where it is, to rust. But Rockham urges the party to stay and see if anything happens. So it's gonna be between Maeve and Rockham. So elemental resistance or attack speed. And we're going with fucking Rakan. Because we don't want negative element or resistance. They wait for the discussion to end or intervene. I want to see what they do by themselves. Maya wins. Fuck. It seems to feel equally intriguing as well as dangerous. Unable to decide yourself. Let them choose what to do next. Maya convinces the others to leave it. Party leaves the loom. The light on the mechanical guards dim guard dim. Grinding sound and rusted metal gears, his body slowly lowers to the floor until he, he at last becomes perfectly still and quiet. Energy barrier raises from the floor, clearly escape prevention mechanism of some sort. And now we can't go in there anymore. So he had gold, what else did he have? Nothing, just gold. Gold we need. Because upgrades are expensive. Plus... Yeah, mine. So he gives 1%. I mean, maxing it out is not going to be that interesting. Plus 10%. But I want to avoid that. You know? So we'd lose 2% attack speed, but we'd gain 1% element to resist. Yeah, that's fine by me. Let's go with uh, Rakim. Rakim. Ra Ra What's his name? Count for the Rakim. Jesus. Count for the life of me. Remember that shit. Rakim Rakim. Let's go. Better leave. Kill it. Rakim plus one. Though you may not share the dwarf's enthusiasm, the machine has certainly piqued your curiosity. We're going to fight these later on, probably, anyways. I've never encountered such a well-preserved specimen, and a talking one at that. You delicately express your feeling and curiosity in Maya's mind. One later, she agrees to stay and see what happens. 
The champions anxiously wait for a few seconds. Suddenly, the mechanical guard raises his rusty spear above his head and charges. Ancient guard! Holy fuck, it's strong. Ancient mechanical guard have been awakened by your champions. Area in this prison cell is under the influence of restricting magic, reducing the movement speed of your champions by 50% because it's a prison. Alright. Asshole, a forgotten prison guard, an example of ancient's mechanical skills. Although they activated for a very long time, his combat potential is still astonishing. He's alone though. So we're going to just dogpile on him. Or et, I guess. Although the game calls it a he, so meh. Physical damage. Only 14 armor pen. Even our mage is mostly protecting against that. But, I mean, the base damage is pretty high, so... Uh, our melee guys are going to be okay. Blood rush. Damage aura. Champions within 5 meters are burning for 15 fire damage per second. Uh, is this like a passive he has? What the fuck? He just boils our blood, literally. Barb Javelin. Barb Javelin that deals 50 air damage. Target hit is immobilized for 6 damage. Holy shit. Kill it. How may I help you? Oh my god, we're slow. Your wish Come at us, pussy. Down. I would have been. It would have been funny if it came from here. Ready to serve, my lord. What's his defenses? He doesn't care about earth. Hates water, obviously, and fire is also not very good for him. Doesn't care about air either, holy shit. Okay, so... Maiv is basically useless with his, her abilities, but we can still blind it. And fire is going to be okay. You have water, that's good. And you have fire, that's good. But your air is going to be useless. Just want him to tie it down a little bit. I'm a lord. I'm a lord. Oh, we can just pop it. Pop it a big ass fireball. Oh. Holy out. shit. At your service. Yes. You can also just make it stunned. Money. Look at this. We're just killing it. I never miss. Blind dead. Fucking dead. So it doesn't matter if it's strong, it's alone. Everybody can just go at it. Oh, it's minus 4, not even minus 50%, so it's not even the same thing as it's said. Uh... Yay. Wait, why is it 4%? Shouldn't it be 6%? Because we are on 8% and we lost 1. It should be... What the fuck? Whatever. Victory! We found a shitty shield. And some, some decent stuff. And a gold ring of reflex. Oh, nice. Champions stand panting with exhaustion. Really? This enemy tested your capabilities to the limit. Did it? They should be more careful in the future, else they might encounter an enemy beyond their current capabilities. This is fucking easy, dude. Get out of here. 14 gold, baby, let's go. 4%. Oh, we lost 2? Wait, what? Oh no, she was on 3. Oh yeah, because when she won the fucking argument, she went up to 4. My bad. Uh, we have to do this again, because I didn't save afterwards. But I mean, it was fucking... You know, fast. Kill it. Kill it again. My lord. All right. Kill it again. Going. Love killing this thing. Consider it done. All right. You go at it. So it knows who to fight. Put in your armor. Put your your shit. Put on that. Put this on. Get closer a little bit. Pop it. Piece of shit. My blade is yours and money. Right between the eyes. Off a strike. 
Alpha strike! Oh no, we get something different now. Oh, I didn't get a purple ring. But I think we got a lot more money this time. Yeah, I'll take the money. Money, money. Money, matte. Ah, oh, 12. Wait, these are randomized as well? It was 14 before, now it's 12. What the fuck? So pile monies are also <laughs> randomized. You know what that means? Okay, 15 is satisfactory. If it's less than 10, or it's maybe like 11 or something, we, we load back. <laughs> I'm gonna exploit the shit out of this game, I don't care. So what did we find? We find... I think it's a crossbow we found. Holy fuck! 30% crit chance! So this was our previous crossbow, the 26%. Now we found something better, Spectral Old Crossbow of Carnage. It's slower, but stronger. Four armor pan. Two mana per hit. Hey, LMAO. 40%. So 55 crit chance with the thing on. <laughs> nice. What was the other thing? I think it was this. Because we found two blue things. It wasn't that. It wasn't... Oh, it was the hood, actually. Yeah. Better. Same, same. Don't care. Rip skill power and mana, but gain crit chance. Uh, or three armor? Nah. I like the skill power, 44%. Yeah, that's definitely better, so fuck this. Cool! However, she's got these pants. What are these? I think these were her old pants. Fuck them. Cool! Save. There's a gate. No. Touch it. The gate is locked tight. The party has no chance of opening it with brute force. Locked tight. It's some kind of glue, I think. 13! Ah, uh, we'll, we'll take it. However. Okay, that's 15. We'll take that too. <laughs> Armor Shatter 1. Reduces enemy armor by 12 seconds for the surface sent for 10 seconds. Multiple of this type on different weapons do not stack. That sucks. Do we have an asshole? Ghost. Oh, finally an ambush! It's skeletons. Skeleton warriors. At your service. Two of them! Both of my melees. Money Marte. Shit on Shit on a stick. Unleash hell. Quick. Kill it. Money Marte. Kill it. Tie them on. Freedom! Acknowledge. I never miss. Yes, my lord. Yes. Sire. Advancing. Onwards to the fray. These maps are pretty cool. Moving out. Okay, you just do whatever. Yes, sire. For honor and glory. Fuck you. Affirmative. Yes. On my way. Yeah, that's not good. Your wish is my command. Money not done. Yes, my lord. 
So I'm telling him to go and do whatever the fuck he wants. He's not even... He's not even doing that. Oh my god! I never miss. She never misses. Oink. Yes, my lord. Get in there. It's getting it's getting bump fucked. Holy crap! Dude's just all died. <laughs> oh, that's garbage. That's okay. He's just standing in the corner. Note! Oh, note. I can't believe they actually left us here. Last guard to enter flew in with haste, snatched a few belongings and rushed out without even checking on the prisoners. Before he left, he muttered something about the Magi in a panic. It has been 33 days since and not a single soul has returned to the prisons. I can only imagine the Magi fled, never to return, and with their departure, our fates have been sealed. There's no way to force the door open, so I spent day and night digging through the stone and dirt. Today I finally reached the adjoining cell. I had hopes to keep going until I freed myself from the prison, but my hunger and weakness are too great to continue. 33 days of just digging. Holy fuck, he probably has no fingers now. Uh, such cruel irony of life, imprisoned for pouring soup over an elder teacher and now starving to death. Imprisoned for that? I mean, makes sense. You're wasting food. Never waste food. Fuck you. Long and alone and forgotten. I will miss the sunsets over the ice plains and bathing in the ever cold sea. May the spirits remember me. They won't! You wasted food. Just end. For your miserable life. Lord Skeleton. Skeleton appears to be perhaps one and a half times the size of a human. There are strange blue metal shackles on its legs and arms. It wasn't even human. Ooh, this is what they dug? Holy fuck. They dug an entire tunnel system. Not just a little crawl space. Look, they even brought stuff in here. This is what they dug for 33 days. Mad person. And then somebody hanged themselves. Or, no, well, actually, they were trying to climb out, but they, they turned into a skeleton midway. Frost vest. Whoa, that's for the mage. No, that's really it's not for a mage. That's for that's for Maeve. It's a tier two. Ah, <gasps> frost vest. Reduces her thingies by five, because you know she loses the four and she gets minus one percent. Means twenty percent water resistance. Loses health regen, gains movement speed, gains life. Thorns. 25% of total owner's armor's physical damage, oh yeah. Wow, that would be great for this asshole. Already has thorns. Sure. Why was she using this instead of this? Is it because of the armor? This gives armor penetration, why the fuck was she using this? Disgusting. That armor pen would be nice, along with the magic pen as well. Less health, more health regen, more health and mono. Actually, less health because of the uh, the life bonus. Although that's just three percent. The hell do you want with that? Nothing. And since she's ranged. There's probably someone with daggers or some shit. There's definitely a rogue with medium armor who would benefit from this. Because Maeve doesn't want to be close range. And this is a 4 meter radius. The resistance is... the arm So yeah, the armor also doesn't really matter. Unless she gets crossbowed, of course. But I would rather take the health regen on her. With the extra mana as well. Yeah. I'll keep this definitely. Frost West. Someone is bound to be some kind of rogue or something. It has to be. Ooh. Thorns 1. There it is. 25% armor value is physical. Without armor. Leg armor. 
Okay. Hey, it can go into the leg armor, but we have a vest and a ring with it. What the fuck? 12, that's kinda low. Note. Under the bed you find a note. Sleeth is still searching for me, for others as well. I see him pacing back and forth outside the door, but he has never looked inside. He just keeps talking to himself. I am too far off to hear most of what he's saying, but it is clear that he's quite mad. Curse him! Tomorrow, if I do not see him, I will leave this place and move south up to the caves to retrieve the key. Then I will press forward and find another way. Up or down. But they died. There's another note. But there isn't. It's just the one note. One note to rule them all. It's a green uh, glove. Which is attack speed and cooldown. Instead of mana and mana region. And life. Eh. Load it. <laughs> Load it back. Give me a purple. Yeah, purple. That's good. She gained a shitty glove. It is truly... Oh wait, attack speed. Oh, it's less attack speed. This glove is very good. But we got a purple gem, so that's good. Can we open it from this side? No. Nope. Right. Okay. So now we fight that Spectre. Should put on a fire staff. 17. 18. Why? Why? Why does it reduce? 18. Guy's big. Ooh, there's some kind of special thing. That staff reminds me of the XCOM 2 staff of those flying enemies. Also, it's not really. <laughs> it's just glued to its hand. Sinister Spectre of unusual size. <laughs> A rodent of unusual size. Standing ahead of your party, guarding the passage to the side room. Defense mechanism to the tower must have expended considerable energy to create this being. Powerful ways of energy surge from this apparition. We may not be ready to confront such a challenge. Question mark. Ah! Have a wee bit of confidence in your allies, my own friend. I did not doubt for a second. We thought can I handle this wraith, huh? Is it alone? If it's alone, we're just going to murder the shit out of it. Hello! Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's not alone. It has apprentice guards. What are these? Skeleton construct. Yes, 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 a skeleton. This being is able to lop spells which, though inflicting no damage, will stun your champions. Oh, it's this asshole. Wait, but it has, has no skills, so it doesn't have the stun bolt. Okay, so that's gonna be useless. Our mechanisms have created similar construct to Risen Reapers, but with higher magic powers. Approach him tactically, or just race the clock against the increasing number of approaching guards. They're just fucking alpha strike again mimicking the risen reaper and the tower had created this asshole higher magic powers access to wide arsenal skills it's air damage 6000 health not a lot of armor so we can just go through that asshole a lot of resistances earth and water is what he doesn't want or it i guess spirit bomb oh my god it's fucking dragon balls Straight bomb that deals void damage. Oh shit, we have no resistance to that. Void cage. It's on a void energy in 2 meter radius, they need void damage per second to all champions inside. We need to run out of it. Maybe we can destroy it. How long does it last? Energy overflow. Unknown effect. Stun bolt. Chooses an energy bolt exploding on impact in 5 meter radius, stunning all heroes in range for 5 seconds. Oh, that's annoying. Not as annoying as that big slam the guy did, the uh, orc guy, like 12 seconds of stun in 25 meter radius, like, what? How do you even run away from that? Oh my god, my network is ass, by the way. <laughs> yes. 2.6% lost. Oh, that's, that's unacceptable. 
but I will accept it because most of the fucking time we are just looking at standstill things while I read, so you know. Alright, where do you cheat? Alright, I mean, it's coming. That's the boy. Hold on, mummy. This is, will not do a lot of damage, but it will tie him down. What do I mean? Kill it. What the fuck? Wait! Wait! That's not allowed! Yes, moving. On my way. Holy fuck. Why did the archer just move there? What the fuck is wrong with you? Get back here. Right. To put on our shirt. Although armor in this fight is kind of pointless, so that was a waste. Make it stay there. Right between the eyes. Wait. Eh. You hostage. Fuck you. Fuck you! Heru I mean. At your service. Three. Fuck that guy. Yes. Money not done. That's gonna hurt. Oh, wait, someone is dying. Heru, I mean. I think this guy is dying. Oh fuck, he's stunned! He's stunned too. How may I help? Yes. Attack it so it doesn't attack the boy. He's dead. <laughs> Whoops. Yes, my lord. Yes, move ah! Money not da. He's back. Alright, so I got a purple chaotic. Oh my god, another fucking chaotic. I'm just gonna destroy it. I hate it. Okay, we have two fire staffs. Staves. One is chaotic, which is stone like. And one is spectral, which just gives us. What? Same damage, same water. Both of them are off water for some reason. Oh yeah, mana per hit is better. So that's the mana per hit. Fuck off. Very nice. Get a champion trophy, magic constructs. Old book. Party finds a stack of parchment. Every page is covered end to end with strange drawings and glyphs. I can't make out most of it, but it appears to be a blueprint, if I had to guess. I would say some sort of weapon. A wand or a short staff, perhaps. We can make our own ship. Let me have it! I'll find a way to decipher it later, even if it takes me a hundred years to do it. Oh, but Mr. Dwarf, we do not have time <laughs> in the Tower of Time. Give. Uh, nice health regen. Armor pan? Wait a minute. Mm hmm. Better armor. It's the worst armor percentage, but I mean, it doesn't really matter for her. Better armor and magic penetration. Little more health. A lot more health regen. More health increase. Hell yeah. Good. Perfect. I'll keep it. 
We have 1800 money. Need goddamn light, uh, blueprints. Wait, artifact crafting. Champions have found a blueprint, do not understand the language. Yeah, we need to translate it somehow. So this part is down. Or done. Well, maybe we can find a translating something in the library. Maybe. I think there were skeletons at the library gates, so we'll have to fight those. Can we really not take the wires? Bones, weapon workshop, da, da 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 I could have teleported. Actually, I couldn't. There's no teleporter in this thing. Makes sense, it's a prison. I guess. Let's do a big save. Uh, me. Right. Hello! Empire unlocks the door to the Grand Library. The swing, they swing open, granting the passage to a long forgotten knowledge. Ah, the unmistakable scent of knowledge. Is a book sniffer confirmed? So sweet and inviting. It smells like dust and well-worn parchment to me. Exactly. Yeah, exactly! Hell yeah! I'm also a book sniffer. Aha, Sir Druid! We have one thing in common then. What is that? Our, our nose works? I an obsession about finding what has been lost. Ooh! Those are skeletons, and you have your new, your new and dandy fire staff on. Skeletons. Yeah, just fucking kill them. Yar. Is that a portal, or is that something new? Battle mode. Enemies have reactivated an ancient defense tower. New combat mode. Towers. In this mode, there can be multiple towers, but there can be. So wait, this is randomized. So if I have like multiple towers, I just load back and fight again what the fuck multiple power towers positioned across the map that limit the tactical options your party has destroy them early or when you clear all enemies uh, oh the target dummy had the same thing the high-ranking target dummy construct guard apprentice crossbow blade magic specter all right cool sire sire so what do these do fire damage in 13 meters that's a lot they have shit resistances, but they have a lot of health. And they just kind of sit there. So what I could do is sit behind this fucking bookshelf, so that doesn't care about us. And everybody just comes in here and we just do a little... Do a little fighting, you know? Moving into position. Little, little, do a little fighting. Your Holy shit, wait a minute. Oh, with the, with the staff, he has the same range as her yes. bow. That's pretty cool. The fucking tower wants to attack her. <laughs> yes, moving. May the light guide your path. Move out of the... Uh... Alright, boys, here we go. I never miss. Money Martin. Lord. Actually, it can't hurt us in here either. So just... What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, he shot past it. Put your boy here. Get to meet these guys. That would be nice. Advancing. What the hell is that? How may I help? What did you do to us? Heading out at once, sire. You don't need that, sire. Moving into position. Ah. Your wish is my command. Help me. Moving into position. I am a lord. May the light guide your path. Will do. Your wish is my command. Oh, needs to heal his ass. Although we can just sit here now. Yes, sir. On my way. Sit here and wait. Acknowledge. 
How may I help? Oh, he's in roaming mode. That's why. All right. Nyom. Heru Amin. Can he not heal himself? Oh, he just ran out of mana, so he can't. Shoot them. Get some crits. My lord. At once, sire. That's disgusting. Right between the eyes. Money, Marte. Yes, my lord. Onwards to the fray. Oh, my God. My blade is yours to command. Yes. For this man. My lord. Kill it. It's a gross uh, thing. Money. Yes, my lord. Oh, look at all those greens. I never miss. Orders. Oh, he's out of mana as well. Of course. Money not done. Yes. Money not done. Track him. Is the tower the last thing? It looks like the tower is the last Can thing. The light <laughs> Look at all these fucking traps. I love them. All right. They're amazing. Heading out. Right between the eyes. Done. Amazing. Oh, we got a 200 axe. It's going to be trash, probably. 62, 68, that's decent, but, you know, armor pen 6, I mean, it would have been better than the previous 200 X, I think, but not better than Siege Hammer, which is, which looks like an axe, but they also have this thing, which is just bad. Cool! Oh, what is this? Puzzle? Puzzle time? It's a big tree. Champions enter a tremendous library. Row upon row of endless books greets them. It would take an entire day for your ch four champions to count them all. Perhaps longer. Just to count them. This tower truly is a treasure trove. The knowledge within a collection of tomes is cr this great. Would in fact change our world. We should organize a way to transport these to the surface. We should. Agreeable, noble elf. But there's no time. Again, no time. Just no time in the Tower of Time. Tower of No Time. You have my word, we will return for the, later for this task, once we finish our mission. I have a feeling that the tower is going to get destroyed by the end. So all these books are fucked. Humans had not been so rash to act as in, and instead fell upon wisdom. Like the wisdom undoubtedly containing, contained within these books, perhaps our world would not be in the very jeopardy it is today. Okay, he's forgetting that the elves were also being drunkards and sex maniacs instead of working. Once they discovered magic, so, you know, he can't- he has no place to speak. Besides, who exactly put you in charge of our little outing anyway? Wow, he's- he's mad, so Kane was like, You don't have time for it, but we will take them up to the surface. I agree, it is very important. And he's like, he's getting triggered over nothing. Racism. I pledge my allegiance to your lord, not to you, shield guard. Oh, wow. Ed Eric, what the fuck? Understand that these books represent you to you. What these books represent to you, noble elf. I agree fully, these books may very well char change our word for the better. But my lord did not send us here to retrieve books. Why is there a fucking comma there? He sent us to retrieve the power that resides at the bottom of this tower. This and this alone can save our world from complete destruction. As for your loyalties, make no mistake, the High Courier and I are on a mission for my lord, and I am his second in command. This is our sworn duty, no matter what presents itself within the walls of this tower. Do not forget that it was you who requested to join our party. Oh shit. Putting the dog in its place. That's right. If our tasks and goals are not to your liking, then leave now. For if we take another step further together, it will be to my lord's ends. And his ends alone. I wonder what would happen if I just had one person in the party just walking around, touching shit. <laughs> Well, I, uh, it wasn't my intention to upset the dynamic of the group. I mean, I just uh, agreed, Shotguard. Wow. Not. I never questioned your authority here. Death or the bottom of the tower. It may be a slight detour if you find the cache of adamantine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Before we depart, then, 
Let us look around and see if there is anything of immediate value. Yes, let's. Like this fucking tree. There's writing on the wooden board that shines with soft green light. What is an eternity? State when all clocks lose their meaning, for the time is without beginning or end. Are all clocks lo lose their meaning? Oh no, it's a puzzle! Slith's Note 5. After countless days and nights I have found the formula. The power to open the door another to another realm is mine. I'll gather resources and followers from alien worlds and sweep away our enemies like in the insects they are. At long last, the world shall recognize my greatness. Ah, Hartar will come to adore me. I will bring the people salvation and in return to be hailed as the greatest magus who ever lived. No, I will be even more in their eyes. I, Sleeth, will be their living god. Yeah, sure, buddy. Got some clocks. Got a lesser scroll. Oh boy, here we go. Lesser scroll. Let's go. There can never be a perfect unison between body and mind. Oh, it's another speed! Baby! <laughs> Disgusting. Holy shit. 14%. Gross. Love it. Alright. Races of Artara. The five great races of Artara. Elves claim title of first lineage, obviously, every single fucking time. Elves are like, we were here first. And instead they arrived from across the great sea, so they know the orcs. Before the record of time, when the land was still young and untouched, long before the dwarf of dwar dawn of men. Oh Jesus. Early elven history is passed orally among elders, speakers, or locked away in a handful of written tomes, strictly withheld from all non elven eyes and ears. For this reason, little or of true elven origin is known to the outside world. An obscurity that leads that's led to the development of various theories throughout Artara. By these theories very wildly, bordering on everything from the macabre to the ridiculous. One hypothesis that persists is that elves were originally a savage race ruled by fear and blood. Blood elves. Regardless of the authenticity of such postulations, what the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? A new word. Postulation. Let's see what it does. What kind of meaning does it invoke in people's minds? Postulation. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, sure. Well, this is the first time I see this word. So... <laughs> Probably not very... Uh, widespread. Today elves are metered, reserved individuals, an introspective race, not prone to violence as a people, for nearly a thousand years since their use of magic to overthrow the siege of their capital in minus six ass. Though no exact numbers of the elven population are known, common beliefs holds that a mere fraction of their people survives today, many of their numbers mysteriously unaccounted for. Those that remain gather in the endless forests of the east to the east. A strange wooded region steeped in his first hand. Steeped in first hand accounts of outsiders entering the forest as a youth and returning an old man, or tales of people vanishing completely from existence. Consider it more than rumor, more fact than rumor. Only elves enter the forest at their leisure. It's a magical forest. The Fae. Elves who leave the endless forest usually take up profession as herbalists, academics, healers, advisors, etc. Within their own borders, farming is an unexpected vocation, seeming almost mandatory in their culture. Elven wheat, grain, and wild fruit are renowned for its taste and nutrition throughout all Artara. They're superfruits! Human scholars still debate how elven society always seemingly had abundant food, even during the most violent and barren times throughout history. They grow fruit in their armpits and eat it. They have solar powers, or, you know, they photosynthesize their elves. The Elven capital city, Lothrian, is built around the largest city life oak in the world, the Elden Tree. The tree so tall, its topmost branches lay obscured by cloud over most days. The life oak is forbidden to all but the elves. They have a bunch of fucking life trees here in this place. A bunch. Uh, let's learn about the dwarves. Hell yeah, dwarves. 
Dwarven clans occupy the mountainous western parts of Vortara. They congregate in great underground stone cities, a result of mining and stone labor spanning millennia. Ancient elven texts speak of the first time... Okay, so the fucking elves don't even uh, uh, spread their own history, but they fucking make texts of other races. Assholes. The first time doors breached the surface world, when they emerged unexpectedly from the Arcan Caverns and laid siege to Lothrien, the elven capital. A battle eventually attributed to a case of misconstructed borders. Mis misconstrued borders. Prompted an animosity between the two races, which it lasted for scores of generations. Today, though, many parts of Thorin society are now common knowledge, like the Grand Arken Hall, whose vault is said to be deeper than the tallest mountains this high. Few outsiders have ever witnessed the Dwarven Grand Halls firsthand. For the last few generations, many dwarves have exchanged their battle axes for smithy hammers, focusing on mining and commerce, providing resources and wares to other races. Dwarves excel in some stone, metal, cloth, clock and mechanical craftwork. Few, if any, can surpass the Dwarven Smith of the First Order in these disciplines. Oh my god. Clocks. So the Dwarf will know what to do with these. What are these humans? Shadows. Under the scorching sun of the great southern desert exists a people shrouded in mystery. Even today, despite countless attempts by scholars of the other races to uncover their origins, surprisingly little, little is known about them. Of them. Common lore suggests the shadow civilization was once vast, covering the parched expanse from one end to the other. Only after some unknown cataclysm took place did the race nearly disappear from all Artara. Today only a fraction of their numbers remains, scattered and nomadic. Vander wanderers offering their services to those willing and able to meet their price. The people influencing the affairs of other races behind drawn curtains, surviving year to year far from public eye. The once thriving society was people physically quite similar in appearance to humans and elves, yet completely different in design. For only a people different at their essence could boast ability to... Why do I even care? Aren't the shadows the enemy? Like they sucked people dry after they got weak of mana or some shit and then they started appearing. What the fuck? Uh, change their body from f flesh to black vapor with a mere thought. They're fucking... Shadows. <laughs> Shadows of any permanent physical form at all, they change form with little to no thought, other races may change their dress. While the true origins and nature of shadows is speculation and rumor, one thing is known for certain as people, shadows are extraordinarily intelligent. No record of a shadow employed in a menial job exists. Instead, those who make themselves known appear scholars, mathematicians, engineers, advisors, and others, tasks requiring advanced education. In fact, the greatest academics in Artara pride themselves on the number of shadows in their employ. Approving their existence and employment without giving offense is a feat many institutions struggle with. Of course, it cannot go without stating shadows have also shown exceptional aptitude with magic. Brr! So much so that shadows take up the mantle of mystic, mage, or some other specified school of magic more than any ad other profession. It is to these shadow mystics and mages sublime reasonings, perhaps more than any other, the world owes its rapid development of the last hundred years, placing all of Artara in the mysterious races' eternal depth. Great. But then they killed everybody. Frostlings! Across the icy plains and frozen wastelands to the far north, where few outsiders tra travel, they have a race of giants known as frostlings. Hey, they are giants, but they are called frostlings? I thought they would be small then. Standing twice the height of an average man. These pure purple skinned, green haired, green, purple skin and green hair, I don't know, how the fuck do they blend in to the frost? Titans exist in complete harmony with the harsh environment they call home. As one would expect, beings of giant size have proportionate appetites. With scarce resources in the realm of ice and snow, procuring food is a top culture priority. The main source of food for Frostling society are the ice whales of the White Sea. Our Frostlings are natural hunters. Adult males are assigned to great wooden whaling ships on the day they reach puberty. These young seamen journey through whales' breeding grounds where the hunting is abundant all year long and they never leave the boats. Forged of hardship and danger, many frostlings develop a passion for exploring. They're Vikings, we get it. 
It is said the trade routes of rustling ships circle the globe and their travels have given them secret knowledge of long lost civilizations. Despite their size and physical might, rustlings are a peaceful race. Okay, so they are Vikings, but not really. The days our uh, as conquerors ended thousands of years ago, their bloody civil war almost erased them from existence. They are Vikings. Since then, the gentle giants have cultivated cultural advancement like no others in Dartara. They are master philosophers, poets, singers, artists, people who by their way by their very nature create as readily as others breathe. Wow. Since the ancient times, Rosling have developed the unique ability to imprint their memories in stone, and their entire society revolves around the passing of knowledge or memories from stone to individual. They stone each other. They are stoners. Some who have ventured to the north and returned speak of massive stone. One which all Frostling stones are connected. Big stone. With the ability to record memory directly from experience and hold such knowledge for all time, Frostlings have become self-appointed historians of Artara. While it's a rarity for people of the south to meet Frostling in modern times, those who do not consider it do consider it a sign of extremely good fortune. Oh, those who do Consider it a sign of extremely good fortune, I see. I'm guessing this guy is going to be a frostling. Hell yeah. One of them is one of these is going to be a shadow. And we're gonna have another human. Boom down. Easy. Easy. Is there a blueprint? Oh my god, yes. Uh armory. Big save. Big big save. Teleport. Hell yeah. You can go up to seven. Done. My Ave. My Ave speed! <laughs> no, you're not going to put all of it into speed. I'm gonna have three in speed. One in life. What did she gain? She gained Hunter's Mark before. Now she can also have it have more radius or give it slow. Slow duration after leave 5 seconds and slow is 30 second duration. Mark enemies. Enemies are also slowed. Wait, do, do, do we just put this on the floor and everybody in it gets marked? Because slow duration after leave. So this is definitely some kind of area of effect that just stays there. I thought it just marked enemies in an area and that's it. But apparently it just stays? Ah. She gained Rain of Arrows though. Which needs Might to make a uh, strange path lane. Just fall from the sky along the drawn path. Enemies' armor and maze armor penetration influences the damage. Oh. Bleeding damage per second. Inflict bleeding ignores armor. Or gives them weakness for 12 seconds. Drawn path. 40 second cooldown. 60 mana cost. 22 arrow damage. 70 meter radius. Or length. So can I draw it like in a circle or something? You know what? Let's put it on. Um, the bear traps. Let's put this on here. So you gain on might. And another speed. I'm going to challenge training dummy. May the light guide your path. I got a training training dummy. What Moving the into position. The fuck does this do? It is an area. Oh. Okay. That changes things. Although it's still just 15% damage increase within this area, which is like, uh, right now it's not much. Can I look, do this? Oh. Exquisite.
is it? Hello, I mean. I like that. Right. Look at this. This fucker. Look at the dwarf running. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. Money, man. Yes. Hello, I mean. Murder. My blade is yours to command. Shoot them. It's raining. The belly does damage. He's got such a good range with that. Oh shit. Yes. 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 My blade is yours to command. Heal everybody, yeah. Okay. Got one gold, yeah. Interesting. Enemies' armor and Maeve's armor penetration influence the damage. Yeah, so she needs a lot of armor penetration for this. And I don't know if this can crit or not. Armor penetration is decent, but I mean, if you look at the uh, library. Let's look at some of these uh, orcs. These armored orcs. Where are the armored orcs? Armored cyclops. Its armor is 25. So it would deal fuck all damage. Earth color, 22 armor, shaman. Okay. The squishy targets die. Earth color leader somehow has less armor than the elite, although a lot more health. Swordsmaster, 16. Crossbowman is nothing. Its constructs have decent armor as well. Yeah this guy hmm. Hunter's mark is a lot better now that I know that it's it just stays there but it just doesn't just mark enemies it puts down a like an area effect debuff a debuff aura basically that can slow enemies that walk into it and also they keep the slow for five seconds after they leave or it's a larger radius honestly it's probably the larger radius that you would like because basically our tanks slow or you know tie someone up and then we put this on and then they just have 15 percent less uh, or they take 15 percent more damage but right now that extra 15 percent is either not enough to make a lot of difference or we don't really need it because we did so much already so i would rather have her disengage so she can run away when she gets pulled because sometimes she gets pulled or you know something walks up and i don't notice and then you know it's good to just fly away rain of arrows however or bear traps i really like the bear traps bleeding which does not a lot Enemies have like hundreds of health. This shit. <laughs> uh, no. Obviously the uh, extra is good. More earth damage. You don't really need the more earth damage on it. I'll only upgrade this to level 2 when we when I unlock the uh, thingy for it. And it's level 7. The more, more traps and more roots. Rain of Arrow. Right now it's not... It can either do the shitty bleed, which is again not much, or weaken enemies. But what does weakness mean? What What is... Like, is it the damage is lowered or, or what? It's probably the damage, right? 20% less damage from them. But that's again not that big of a deal. It's a fun thing. You can draw 
and it just does a little arrow rain and you can just do a little circles to concentrate it which is probably what you want to do not a fucking line but I feel like bear traps are so much better for CC CC is good getting out of CC is good it's blind and it does air pretty decent air I can upgrade this now. Oh, and I can upgrade fire arrows. Ooh, crits. More crits. Yes. 18% crits. And it does 10 extra fire damage per attack, which is like, it's still nothing. It's just for the crits, because every attack gets that extra 18%. It's so got four more points. I'm probably going to uh, upgrade the... Uh... I could upgrade her getaway. But I don't think I need to. It could actually be just level 1. Without the uh, blind. Maybe the move speed instead of the blind. Blind for 5 me five seconds and 3 meters. 7 seconds. Although having it cheap would be nice. Because then, you know, if she gets pulled in while having not a lot of mana... She can get out fast. But it's already pretty cheap. She's got fucking 2.7 mono region. Plus 20. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna have it on like level 2. But without any upgrades. Um thus. Could upgrade something else. Also, take this out of Hunter's Mark. Because we're not using it. We can upgrade this fully. So this is blind duration for... God knows how long. Six seconds would be. Or the push strength. I can just make it very strong. Very strong with more blind. Yeah, sure. Although now it costs a fuck ton of mana. That's okay. Yeah. Make the bear trap stronger. Double double damage, basically, for an extra ten mana cost. I feel like that's that's good. Worth damage. Alright, let's see, uh, Kane. Kinda gets one life. And then... Gets one mastery. Actually, he doesn't need mastery. He runs out of mana so fast. Although this would increase mana regen. What did he get? Physical wave, what the fuck is this? There's damage in a cone in front of him. Enemies are pushed away, interrupts casts and channels. Okay, so the whole interrupts cast and channels doesn't even fucking work. Because when we had the uh, the pull strain dash, it didn't interrupt anything. It didn't interrupt any channels. So I don't know. Very cheap. That's good. Upgrade for the healing. We don't need the upgrade for this. Don't have upgrade for this. We got an upgrade for the shield. Party element of resistances or party health per second. Ooh. More sources of healing are always good. Although the element of resistances. 18% for everything. So if this guy has the element of stuff one. And this guy activates the shield. It's gonna be a lot of stuff. So how long does this last? 30 seconds. So you get four sec four healing per second. It's not a lot, it's 120. Let's go eat resistances for elemental. I don't really use this a lot. Let's check this physical wave out. 50 mana. It's physical damage. 
in a cone. 90 degrees. Strong push. But why the fuck would I want to push them away from him? Uh, he'll keep the... Uh, the shield. Oh, look at that. That looks so much prettier, but... Elemental well, Resige. Yeah. And it increases his mastery. But he also increases with mastery. Alright, get one mastery. And... Get your deeps up to ten? Nah. This is armor and magic penetration. Get some life. Get some life. So he's got two skill points still. Wait a minute. They don't use taunt. I mean, less monocles for the the wall, I guess. Because yeah, nothing else can be upgraded. Sure. Get back in the tower. Maybe upgrading Connie was kind of a waste at this point. Oh well. Humans are the youngest race of Artara, and yet perhaps the most influential. Humans have inhabited every temperate corner of Artara, creating vast civilization, thriving in communication. Humans are a young race. They are the most violent. Because they're humans. Ah, uh, you can set a calendar on it. In fact, Evs and Shadows have just done that. See. Ancient times, King something hunter brought forth a spell of harmony. The first principles. The moons finally broke the cycle of internal strife, ushered in an age of enlightenment. Today, humans are forefront of nearly every critical aspect of Artarian civilization. In the heart of human society, located in the central lands of Artara, humanity has become the bridge between all five races. Basic, fantasy, lore. All right. Oh, chests. Hey. That is ass. That is so ass, I'm not even going to read what it, what the it thing gives. Get the fuck out of here. Give me something blue at least. Either t the thing or the ming. Oh, that's good. Purple. And it gave us a glove, which is... Spell power. Minus 4% health. That's okay. He doesn't have health anyways. Ha! <laughs> That'll be a lot of negative health, because he would lose the life as well. But that's fine. Spell power would be nice. Or skill power, that is. 52%. Tough health reduction. And he gains crit chance. Wow. Sugoi. Alright. Next. A blow crystal and the shitty gauntlet. Who's this guy? Blue. 33 monies. Garbage. I like how I can just roll it until it gives me purple. Look at that. 26 gold. What the hell do you think I am? 30 gold. Not even checking that fire staff. Oh, those are the shadows in the loading screen. And oh, all no, the game knows. The game knows what I'm doing. And it hates me for it. But it can hate me a little longer. I want at least two blue. Or a purple. Or good money. Oh, spell power. It's even more health decrease for this guy. The same spell power. What the fuck? It's not even good. Or shadows. Look, they're killing people. Blue. Blue chest. Alright. Interesting. 3% armor with 3 armor. 6% for elemental disease. Gives mana, health regen, health and mana increase. Yeah, I'll take that. Look at that. Gained like 30. 29 extra mana. And some health regen. Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Thank you very much. There's one more chest here. And also a lesser scroll. Roll. 
Blue pants. They're probably garbage. Uh, that's garbage. Health hit points. Health and thing increase. That's garbage. Give me some something good. That's not good. I can just see that it's not good. It's two greens. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Oh my god, it's a bow. Vampiric Shock Crossbow. 10% slow stun days. Better physical damage. Same speed. Same penetration. 4 health per hit. No mana per hit. And no crit chance whatsoever? Whoa. That's disgusting. Oh, what is that? A two handed sword. Stun great sword of water. Jesus. Ah, blue crystal. We'll take the blue crystal. And this thing is uh, attack speed, but worse. It's just worse. It gives. Ooh. It gives crit chance. So either we take the extra 6 attack speed or we take the 6 crit chance. We're gonna take the 6 crit chance. The resistances also go away. But if I find a forge, I can upgrade this to blue and that will give it some kind of magical property. Maybe it will give me something good. I'll keep this for now because if I upgrade this and it gives me like, I don't know, minus, I don't know, minus 5 health or something, I'll, I'll not use it. But right now, 46% crit, plus, plus the 18. <laughs> ah, orgasmic. All right. Chance scroll, mental of immunity 1. Reduces all negative effects by 25%. It applies to damage value, poison drain, undamage value, elemental weakness, percentage, and duration. Stun blind. Chest armor only. That's decent, I guess. All right, let's see what this scroll does. This is the thing that we all must maintain, and to spend it is to gain it. The greater one's reserves, the greater and more numerous the enemies one may slay. Plus 20 health. Right. Whoa. He's losing the health battle. Maybe I should have given it to Eric. He's gonna die in one hit from everything now. That's okay. That is his way of life. Alright, clocks. What the fuck are we looking at here? Dwarf, get off of the fucking clock. Then again, it's just a clock. This one has some... Some clipping on it. They're all the same, it looks like. The state when all clocks lose their meaning, for the time is without beginning or end. I mean, that's just noon, right? But it's zero, 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 zero. This is not on zeros, though. Ah! Spin! There you go. <laughs> Puzzle done! That is the only way to go now. Two more side quests. The main quest is done. Wait, there's something here. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't see this. Look at this shit. A greater scroll. Ooh, it leads into the abyss. Don't fall in. Might is the pride of the fool. Nothing to do's who are wise in the ways of magic. It is said that the stones of Lotharn underwent five years of grueling training. Sons, not stones. Each member capable of carrying twice his own weight over 20 miles each day. 
When their army faced Gundel the Wroth, they simply cast his famous bone weakening spell and they made easy prey for his minions. Minus two might, plus one health regen per second. What the fuck? Who would want this? No one. Minus two might, everybody is starting to, you know, this guy needs might. This guy and this guy kind of benefit from might. Even she's benefiting from might. And she's ranged, she doesn't need health regen. Screw you. That is trash. Who the fuck? What the fuck? It reminds me there's that other scroll back on the first level. With some, uh, at the altar. Alt altar. Ooh. Discovered a new teleport. Magic portal. What the fuck is this? This is kind of cool. Verticality in maps. I like. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh. A fire stick. Old book. Note 6. Ooh, portal. Long last, the spell is finally ready. My probes of the portal magic have revealed strange and wonderful worlds. I never dreamed so many, but I mustn't be hasty. No, contact with the world, wrong world could open a gate to the wrong society. People who would oppose me. What I need is an unsophisticated world, a realm of dumb brutes. Creatures easily impressed, easily coerced. He made the orcs come in. It's fucking Warcraft. World of Warcraft. The orcs just come through the portal from the orc realms. And then the fuck up the uh, earth, the humans. <laughs> I have selected a world inhabited by savage green skinned creatures, bring beings of in a constant state of warfare with pale humanoids, not so unlike us. Barbarians with a command of crude tribal magic, I would assess a li as little more than interesting. These beastmen will bow to my might and vow their undying loyalty. I tremble with delight at the thought that I will soon leave this forsaken place and return to the surface at the head of an army, an army unlike anything Gartar has ever seen. Soon I'll be bowed to sleep. What an idiot. Champions gather before a large dark distortion, undulating in midair, but they can see nothing within the mass. There's no doubt. They stand before a bridge from this world to another. The faces light beneath crackles of green energy leaping from the portal's perimeter. Maya's hair floats above the air, as if carried away by unseen hands. She had a wig on. No, not expecting to find an active portal after so many years. The party pauses and looks on wonder. The mystery of the orc's presence finally solved. Maybe Sleeth lives yet, perhaps he's leading these orcs. Such fundamental ignorance of details. Did you not see the dates on his journal entries? If he were alive today, he would be more than 800 years old. Maybe he's God. True, but the creatures he brought still dwell here. It's possible time in the tower does not pass in the matter we are all familiar with. The boys stand around and argue over semantics. I'm going through. The salvation of Artara may be standing right in front of us. Wait. Does your impetuous nature have no end? A tremendous amount of magic powers this portal. Great, see you on the other side. Stop! Don't open the door! I've fin rods, everlasting compassion. Give me a breath of to finish, woman. Oh! I can't say that. I was about to say it is extremely powerful, though highly unstable. What now? No witty remark? An attempt to pass through this is not wise. The energy flux is likely to rip all who do, do to pieces. Unfortunately, I am almost certain this conduit transfers energy only one way. So they can come in, but they can't leave. Our first hope torn away as soon as it appears. Ah, we yard the way through, Lassie. What about stabilizing it somehow? Can your great elven mind and magical promise do nothing, noble elf? Wait, what? It may very well be possible, but if so, it is beyond my skill. Oh, I feel like the avatar is going to come. My understanding of this magic is far too rudimentary to even make an attempt. Ah, too bad. There is something else you must consider. The fire stick. This portal was opened a very long time ago. Aye. Then why is it those orcs are still here? I don't mean their age. I mean, why didn't I leave this tower ago and go to surface? Or for that matter, why not move deeper below? Um, have you not been with us throughout this floor, you dumb fuck? They were trying to go deeper below. They made the fucking battering ram to kill the defenses of the level three and just go. You dumb son of a bitch. Rakam's deep retrospective takes the party by surprise, drawing everyone's gaze and long silent pause. 
because they are stunned by the stupidity of the fucking dwarf. It's been like an hour since we killed them, and he already forgot. Alright, so I guess that's where we need to go. So we're going to back down, go back down and go through the uh, secret passage. I thought the secret passage was the way to go, because it was so fucking simple. I thought it was needed for the main quest, apparently not. Although the main quest is already done, so these are just side areas. I guess. La di da, la di da. Secret area, okay, this is secret. Whoa, lifeless construct. Uh, what am I looking at? Bizarre construct stands lifeless, as if created only to be a monument. Why are its hands shaped like blades, though? Are they? What are the fucking hands? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Is that... Oh, those are the hands. It doesn't have a head. I see. Well, that's gonna be good to fight. Oh, a magic forge. And I can't click... Oh, I can't click on it. This forge seems different from the other your champions have used. Mana crystals attached to it are of no mere coincidence. Perhaps your party can find a way to use it. Okay, we need to fuel it, I guess. But we have an ancient chest! Yeah! Garbage. I expect more from an ancient chest. And by more, I mean purple. Ooh, a fire sword. Garbage. Body gold, though. That was nice. 42 gold and a blue crystal. Sure, I'll take it. A boots. Boots for this guy. Bad boots. More movement speed, but a little less armor. Cool. He doesn't need more movement speed, but he doesn't want less armor, so. Yeah. Whatever. Old book. That's a scroll. Let's get that first. One's life force is precious, and the rate at which it replenishes is proportionate to one's lust for experience. However, there are ways to elevate one's lust for exper existence. Oh, existence, not experience. Engaging combat beyond being one such way. Health regen per second. Bim bum. Yay, yeah, he's, he's gaining. He's gaining health regen. He needs that. Discover of adamantine. Oh, or the fucking dwarf is going to lose his shit over that. Soon after the great war broke out, miners from the underground city of Ashgard encountered a new type of ore. Dwarf masters named it adamantine. Soft, almost like clay in its raw state, adamantine can be shaped with ease. However, once subjected to extremely high temperatures, it hardens to strengths beyond all other known materials, including diamond. And properly prepared before the forging, adamantine can be given an edge of nigh unmeasurable thickness. Uh, immeasurable. Thank you very much. That's... that's not... Ah, my grammar Nazi! It triggered! For a weapon, this equates to a blade that never dulls. Oh my god. But it can still break, right? It's very, very tough, very hard, but it's probably, probably very rigid, right? 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 Sadly, the discovery of and came too late in the war. What war? Only had four weapons were ever crafted. Far too few to have a significant impact. But later, all remained succumbed to unforeseen lava flows as the earth shifted. Despite the desperate search across all other mining locations, no other samples of adamantine have ever been found. Damn, they fucked up. They were warring instead of mining. And then the earth was like, hey, don't look at my adamantine. That's disgusting. And it hit it. <laughs> it hit it with lava flows. A party finds a book of ancient engineering principles. Browsing its pages, imagery and sound flash through their minds as a strange feeling rushes over them. Though the feeling quickly vanishes among the group, a much more thorough understanding of mechanics remains. This book is absolutely incredible. It must have belonged to the smith who worked the forge here. My instincts tell me an ancient times artifacts of all were crafted in this room. Maybe we can try and create something here. That blueprint we found earlier doesn't seem as complicated now, does it? What blueprint? Champions studied Blueprint thoroughly. They decide to try and craft the item described within. They only need to find a few key components. How was that? Wah, wah, wah. 
But what are the components? Oh, Crystal Heart of the Golem. We know where that is. And the wire. We know where that is. Amazing. And I remember the component. That was the thing that the dwarf was like, give me like a hundred years and I will decipher it. Hmm. Teleportation. But the wire is here. Dark fires, they take a small spool. Nice. And the uh, thingy was here, right? Yeah. So we are not in the tower anymore, right? This is not the tower. Oh wait, wrong way. Whoa. Beautiful crystals. Look at them. Whoa, mushrooms. <laughs> I like how there are red crystals, but they're not red. There are no red crystals in the game. Give me your heart, pussy. Thanks. I like how they are just gleefully running after him while he's slow motion running. Blum, 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 blum. Beautiful. Blind. Ah, yes. I'm gonna make some secret, secret thing. Whatever it might be. This thing is going to come to life and fuck us. I can just feel it. This force just spikes. Oh, he just made a staff? What the fuck? Oh, it's a wand! Not even a- what the shit? What the shit? Why? Experimental wand. Air damage. Days, magic, fucking monosteel. Damage is recovered. 3% of damage recovers. What the fuck? It's trash. Although I don't have an air wand, so I guess I'll keep it. I only have an air staff. Fuck! I can convert it to three purple if I want. Garbage. We need one more battle, one more chest. Okay, so we have to go through the. Uh... Actually, we don't need to go through the portal. There's the battle in the corner, apparently. It's right there. This is my favorite room so far. Fucking. Library tower. It's fun. Right, we have a chest to roll. First and foremost. It's a relic chest too. Ooh, purples. Purple! With a green. And a... After gem movement speed. And a shitty ring. Oh. 2.7 network. Oh my god. Oh, that is so bad. Purple green, 49 gold. I think he has the same fucking hood. Yeah, he has the same hood, but better. Oh! 45 money, and we got a purple hat. No water, is he? Little more health. Minus one more. Oh my god, fucking construct. So annoying. 5% crit chance. Hey, that's for the dwarf, man. His movement speed is 9 anyway, so he can stand to lose some. He's losing one mastery. He gains some crit chance. Loses fucking... Loses a lot of things. Resistance, health, movement speed, mastery. But he likes the crit, so... so he's a slow man, so having him crit more often is pretty good. Oh, it's a portal with orcs. Great. So the air stuff is better. And water stuff. Water stuff. Da -da 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 -da. The mists have activated ancient portals and are reinforcing their position here. So the portals and all enemies, this group very determined to stop your advance. Prepare for a long fight. 
So our mana is going to run out. That's okay. Yes. We don't care about mana. All right, portals. We're gonna go and oh whoa whoa. That's a 23 second portal. That's a 150 second portal, and that's a 90 second portal. We're gonna tackle the 23 right between the because that was const that would constantly send shit in our way, and we don't like that. I mean, it's tiny shit, but it's shit nevertheless. Moving into position. Oh my god, how slow is he? Fuck, are you not attacking it? Right between the ah. Money. Money. Of course. Uma de la. Madela. Coming. Coming. Acknowledged. May the light guide your path. I'm going there. Manka. Manka. Yes. At your service. Ready to serve, my lord. I know. Great, they stood in the fucking thing. Death. How may I help you? All right. Affirmative. Of course. Yes, my lord. Jump in. Yes. I don't care about fire much. What is this thing? On my way. On my way. Right between the eyes. Things apart. Oh, dwarf was not doing anything. That's okay. Oh, purple fire tablet. Wait, we have. Oh yeah, that's a blue. Purple fire tablet versus blue fire tablet. Of course it's a fucking chaotic one because the game's trying to piss me off. God damn it. I don't know why it reduces my uh, the DPS. But if we have something that doesn't like fire, this is probably still better than uh, this one thing. Oh, it's the same apparently. What? Him with nothing on? Has better DPS. What the fuck? 1316 total damage. How the fuck? 12 magic pan. 14 magic pan. Alright, so we don't need the staff anymore. Because we got better fire solution. Has a little earth on it, but that's fine. Health per hit as well. Skill power increase. Skill power increase 13%. Ooh. 65%. 73%. It's pretty dope. Alright, put on your air wand. Pretty air wand. Alright, let's let's check out this orc fire stick. That's not a fucking wand. God damn it. Orc fire stick. Some fire damage, nothing bonus, 25% daze chance, 2% magic penetration, and blah 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 blah. Let's go through! For your party stands a powerful a portal to the world of the orcs. It is very unstable and allows the travel only one way, so it cannot be used by the survivors to escape Artara. 
Despite his best efforts, Eric is unable to close it. So they will just keep coming. They will keep coming. Look at that. Everything is done. One side quest remains. What is the side quest? Oh, the notes. And I see the last one. So, maybe... Unbelievable, incomprehensible ignorance beyond all imagination. The green-skinned creatures, the ones that call themselves orcs, actually refuse to acknowledge my superiority. After an impressive display of my magical prowess, they attacked me! Attacked me! Had it not been for their numbers, I would have decimated them, left their burning corpses where they fell. But I underestimated the efficiency of the portal. It placed me directly in the center of a major city. They surrounded me by the hundreds, and I had to choose... I had to choice. What? The choice but to flee their world. You mean no choice. No choice but to flee their world. So many gave pursuit. Pursuit. I did not even have time to close the portal. It matters not. It was merely a first attempt. I will find a better world. One with fewer, less organized, less intelligent creatures. I descend to the lower level of the tower now. As a parting gift to, the, to any orcs who have followed me back through the portal, I leave behind a barrier cliff. It's far beyond their ability to ever overcome. My only regret is that I won't be here to see the look on their faces. They look of pure dread. The look of pure dread when they realize I, and I alone, can traverse the portal both ways. As for all others, there will be no escape. They will fester in the tower for the rest of their days and rot. Or every single fucking orc will come through. Or not every single, but like hundreds will come through. Establish a fucking major civilization in here. Ascend from the tower. Kill everybody around and create an orc world on this side. You know, and in time they will figure out how to reach backwards. You know, you didn't think about that, huh? Party has followed the history of Sleeth. They've gained a useful insight to the workings of magic. His magic. Sure, your champions should receive reward. Plus two attribute points. Wait, what are the attribute points again? That was the uh, speed and other shit. Speed! Your party ponders the implications of this last note. Sleeth abandoned the level, relinquishing it to the orcs. He descended to the level below, singing more amenable people to subjugate. At least we know for certain the power only works. The portal only works one way. I mean, that's not good because they can just keep coming. If they choose to. You know, they can just keep coming. <laughs> we don't know what will come through that fucking portal. In time. In the Tower of Time. This is most troubling. If portals to other worlds are at his disposal, what manners of creatures now lie in wait for us? Don't be so negative, Laddie. Sure we met green skins here. Why is he calling him Laddie? I'm, I'm pretty sure that the elf is the oldest here. Oh well. One, you know, purely because he's an elf. They're ancient, right? Wanted the blood and bones. What? Who'd say the next ones won't have blue skin, skin and treat us to ale and cakes? The Navi. Smurfs. That would be a nice change of pace. Eyeless, but a greater d but I gather there's not much chance of it though. Just don't tell the elf, I admitted to it. Yay. Attributa pointa. Speeder. Holy shit. Twenty speed. I feel like that's it's kind of borderline too much what's your speed with it point 20 so it's point 40 attacks per second if I max if I get 100% attack speed speed too bad there's no crit increase stat elemental resi mana regeneration combat skill cooldowns magic penetration increases armor and magic penetration Maybe I should give her the fucking might. A little bit of might. So she can get some armor pen. Magic pen. She's gonna be the fucking murder machine of the group. Obviously. She's an archer. This this level was a lot faster. I guess. I think. Although the first level we had two people to start with. And it was kind of hairy in certain situations. And then we got the third one, and we only had like one tough fight. 
But once you got this fourth guy, and most of the fucking fights were kind of straightforward and simple. Look at that, 100%. You can remain here and continue to explore or descend to the next floor. Uh, stay here, actually. I want to go back to the entrance. Because... I want to go to that altar with the greater scroll. Because I forgot what it gives. I think it also reduces might, right? But I don't know what it gives in turn. I wanna check. Oh, not might, mastery. Also, the dwarf needs to touch the altar as well. He never touched it. He doesn't know how to eat the magical barriers. Minus to mastery, 10% magic penetration. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> oh, we can go to the service floor now. Wait, what? No, main quest, side quest. There's nothing else here. Interesting. Ah! Child. Was this also mastery? Or did I misread it and it was might? Because if it's might, we, we might... Might take it. We might take it. Oh, it is might. Health regen. Hmm. Hmm. Look at that, base 6, total 4. Base 5, total 3. They already have decreased might. This guy does no damage whatsoever. One health regen. Honestly, nah. This one might is like, what, 4% damage? Something? I don't even know. I could reset him to just check, but nah. Yeah, we're not taking it. That two might for just fucking one health regen. One. But the people that have a lot of health wouldn't really benefit from it. I mean, actually, fucking Magic Man would benefit from it. Magic Man doesn't need might. He would have zero might. Okay, so one might is 2% damage bonus. Yeah, fucking... The elf man will take it. I'm not giving it to the archer because, I mean, then again, fucking elf is ranged and he can heal himself. We're not taking that. It's trash. No, it's trash. No. What the fuck? I can't go up there. And <laughs> there we go. Jesus. <laughs> That's a debate scroll. One health per second. 4% damage. 1 health per second region is going to get worse and worse as we go along, but the 4% is going to be better and better. You know? You know? Oh, not load. Save, 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 save. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Descent. Another descent towers towards the unknown. You have now learned the cons conclusion to the grim history of the villagers. They were unwittingly used by the Mad Magi, Sleeth, in his dark scheme. Most of the expedition team was killed soon after they reached the second level, and a few other that escaped were hunted down by Sleeth or perished soon after. They needed to access the Grand Library to continue his research into world portals, pathways between different worlds. His goal was to create such a doorway and then subjugate inhabitants. Under his twisted logic, he would have made a god. However, his true aim for his domination of all those living on the surface. The orcs didn't care, so he had to go lower. 
to get to fi find a better world. The path is blocked. The staircase suddenly ends and there is nothing but darkness below. Your party have no option but to retrace their steps and search for an alternative way. Fortunately, they manage to find a smaller staircase leading off from the main one. Soon after, you arrive at an opening to the next level, the next level or rather a gap between the tower floors. Wow. A service elevator. Luck finally turns in our favor. If we had not found this smaller access passage, we would still be stuck at the collapsed section of the staircase. It very well could have been the end of our mission. Ah, it seems this tower is nay indestructible after all. I still didn't understand how it happened that it's, that it's buried so deep underground so with all these years. I'll give you five to one odds. It has to do something with magic. <laughs> Even at those odds, I don't think I'll take that bet. You're probably right, Lash. The truth is likely not that simple, Marksman. Legends. Hello. <laughs> My cat woke up and is now staring at me with sleepy eyes. What do you want? <laughs> it's just sitting there. <laughs> okay. The legends speak of the near limitless power wielded by the ancients. Yet the force necessary to invert a tower of this magnitude and bury it underground is inconceivable, with or without magic. Quiet down, everyone. We can debate the origins of the tower later. Right now, we need to focus on what is in front of us. See where the passage leads. I'm telling you, it was purposefully built this way. So from the outside, it looks like it's upside down. But in truth, it's not upside down. It's just the uh, construction people were just trawling. And it wasn't driven into the ground to emerge later. No, it was constructed underground, and then it came up. Easy. Can debate the origins later. Right now we need to focus on what's in front of us and see where this passage leads. A saga. Oh look, a convenient teaport. Teaport. Oh, we do have stuff here. Secret rooms. Three. Twenty-one chests we can roll. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a small chest immediately. No, I cannot get to it. No, strange plant, please. Resting area, vegetation, gold, strange plants, a bunch of teleports, ancient chest, gold, gold aplenty. Oh, yeah. Who knows what kind of mani maniacs dwell here? What the fuck is that? What is that? By your great spirits! Look down there! What manner of creature are they? Demons? Demons. I can't make out much detail from this distance, but they are definitely some kind of wild beast. Demons. There's no way they are native to the tower. Demons. No, no, there's far more to these wild beasts than meets the eye. Oh god, they are transformers. Something stirs within them. I desire a sense of dire power. Look how they behave, how they defer to the alpha of their group. There's only one! It's just looking at a rock or a fucking book. Uh, they stand in place, then guard as it following if you're following orders. These are not actions of simple pack of wolves. Yeah, because wolves don't really have an offer. They're group people. Misconception. There's a dark intelligence to them, crude and limited, but intelligence nonetheless. Demons! Wolves? What are wolves? <laughs> oh my god, what are wolves? <laughs> what are frogs? A fitting you would forget the very animals your kind hunted to extinction. Oh shit, we killed them. I would have known better. Wolves are like dogs. If they are... If you have any of those left. But larger, untamed and vicious in nature. Extreme caution is required here. The intellect... What? The intellect guiding these beasts is honored and malicious. I feel an overpowering hatred. Hatred for being imprisoned here against their will. It would be wise to avoid them entirely. No. We need loot. Well, I acknowledge wisdom it is not a human strong point. Fuck you. Honey, beast and four legs is match for a dwarf with an axe in one hand, fire in the other. Yes. It's like the creatures below are afraid of neither axe nor fire. Shit, I mean, that's a fire staff, probably. Are you prepared to put your bows to the t test, rule lord? Oh no, they're going to be fire resistant. No, it's demons. Vantage point. Deep below your champions to your stage car carving, glowing with red light. The air above is simmers in, and them passing through, they feel sick. 
They also see a lot of skeletons, some of which appear to be of recent origin. Oh no. Origin. Corrupted water. Water below is green and stale. It smells of corruption and decay. Okay, so it's going to be fire and earth. So basically, orcs tier 2. Great. I love it. You're on the fucking rafters. Hell yeah. Shalala. This is actually pretty cool. I like this map design so far. Can we go on this? No? Whoa, no, the map is not the best. Because you can't really tell what is the second floor and what is not. They just overlap. Ah, uh, well. Oh, well, no matter. Let's check this. It's a lesser scroll. A giant chandelier has crashed below, and champions look at the chains closely to see that it had been hacked on purpose. So someone wanted to kill something down there. Oh, an ancient scroll. Oh, yeah. Elemental protection 1. Resistance to all elements by 8. Chest. I take it. Lesser scroll. Armor pen! First non-human armor pieces came from the fabled Anvil of Karstank. Gar However, humans learned humidity when they first encountered the dwarves and elves in the master of smithing and of enchantment, respectively. Even the finest steel armor was fragile as a parchment to the enchanted arrow made of dark gold. Arrow? Yes, my murder. I wonder if her armor penetration makes the enemy's armor negative. Is that just extra damage? Hopefully. Hopefully it is. What the fuck is the purpose of this little cubbyhole? Just one enchant scroll and that's it. Weird. Oh, I see orcs, I think. So, orcs made it down here. Yes, they did. They're looking the other way. They don't see us yet. Arr. This water is weaker. Use the air. Hello, Mr. Rorx. Oh shit, they just turned around. So quick. A group of orcs approaches the party from the far end of the passage. They walk hunched over, clenching their weapons with, with wide, darting eyes. But they see your champions, they constantly turn their heads in every direction. Even if their weapons rise in preparation for your attack, they are clearly distracted as something more menacing stalks these halls. Yeah, I mean, that don't matter to us. We're gonna kill. Oh, ooh, there's a lesser scroll there. And another prison. Fuck. Hello. They have a fucking grey shaman. Why? They hold their weapons in grim determination and, and then swarm. They do swarm. Holy shit. Your party, all at once, survive their initial onslaught. Very large group of shitheads. Sire? Sire! Lenny. Your wish is oh my god, he's so act. slow. I need more movement speed for him. Definitely. Of course. Moving into position. For sure he can uh, fucking jump, right? It's not gonna really help once he runs out of... Uh... Wee! Of stuff. Yes. Money Marte. Hey. Put that over Orders. there. Put that over there. Put that over there. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> Out. Got molested. Oh no, he's frozen. Stop. Acknowledge. All right. No, you goddamn son of a bitch. Yes, right between the eyes. Oh, 
shit. Yes, moving. Advancing. On my way. Oh my god, he's he's not gonna live long. Ah. How may I help you? Sora? Is it the last guy? Affirmative. Fucking elf creature can deal with it. Oh no, there's more. Yes, moving. Yes. Um. Shoot them. Yes, I am. Yeah. Oh shit. Fuck you. Mani Marte. Give me alone. I'm a lord. He just wait. He was still alive. What the hell? Oh, Ooh, tier two weapons and stuff. Oh wait, we're moving. Ew, what a doos! They killed an orc. Little spiky skeleton-looking assholes. So the orcs have ventured to this level as well. Uh, I grow tired of these dim-witted brutes. They were yielding the fight even when the defeat is at all but certain. This group acted differently, though. They were surprised when they saw us, but seemed almost relieved that it was us. I wonder what would make them so jumpy. Oh, it's the Avatar, of course. This creep. Very observant marksman. This time it is the orcs who intrude, and the creatures which claim this level don't take well to trespassers. The fact that the orcs have discovered first hand coming to blows against an enemy with greater ferocity than their own. Welcome back, but you speak differently, my friend. I must admit this tower always feels a bit less dismal when you grace us with your presence and knowledge. Oh my god, Kane is fucking hitting on this hologram. This other force you speak of, what is it? Friend, you call me friend? Tower avatar floats before your champions, staring intensely at them each in turn. Her face watches no emotion, but her eyes reveal a strong, penetrating presence, as if trying to peer into your champion's innermost thoughts. This is unexpected, I cannot recall the last time someone referred to me as such. I was share with I know, with my newfound friends. Oh no. No, don't do it. This other force, I believe you glimpsed him earlier, comes from a world of beasts, ancient and primal. Magus Sleeth opened the world portal to their world and lured them to the tower. I don't think it went as he planned, obviously. As you have already learned, Sleeth's portals are only capable of transforming beings to the tower. So once the beasts came through, they were, for all intents and purposes, imprisoned here. But studies of as few have multiplied over the years, the beasts now infect the entire level, corrupting it with their filthy presence, they're shitting everywhere. Into the water supply as well. The orcs wage constant war against the beasts, trying to desperately to diminish their numbers and impose their dominance. But the beasts have proved far too resilient and reproductive to overcome. So there are two worlds connected, basically, by the tower now. In this world. One is constantly getting orcs in, and the other is getting these nasty things in. They are probably going to be very earth resistant. Just like the orcs. The only thing that prevents the beasts from spreading to the other levels are the tower defense mechanisms. I am afraid, however, just as before, these mechanisms will not differentiate between you and the beasts, so skeletons are still around. That's if I you both as hostile invaders. Ha! Then we call it even, Sprite Lady. Marks don't differentiate between green-skinned savages and nightmarish creatures either. Casual reference to terror is more astute than you realize, Rune Lord. I feel the nature of these beasts is somehow corrupted. The act toward ends. There. The act toward ends the Avatar has not yet revealed. If they have purpose other than to survive, I know not of it. The beast feeds on orcs fallen in battle, or foolish enough to venture off alone. And that is not enough, they feed on the weaker among themselves, or on new, unaccustomed arrivals from their own world. They're fucking tyrannids. 
And yes, I can already see the questions of your own faces. What of the beast's world is still open. New beasts enter the tower sporadically. The tower considers this a major threat, and the sealed of the tower levels until their presence is er eradicated. Great, the tower, you said you are the tower. How come you can't just clean their infestation yourself? And all vent oxygen or something. Indeed, I am the tower, but my defense mechanisms are autonomous. Programmed to defend my creation. We already talked about this. In the previous level, we were like, hey, so if defense is these decent defenses are the towers and you are the tower, then can't you just turn them off? And she was like, they were made before my time. I don't know how they work. And now we are basically doing the same fucking thing again. Arthur, can you tell us who were your creators? The Magi. For those are the five races with superior aptitude for magic who gathered here to unlock its secrets. No oh, shit. They're long gone now. In truth, my memory of them is mostly lost to time. Much of my energy is wasted containing the beasts here. There have been recent disturbing developments elsewhere in the tower, which I regret will require my full attention and capacity very soon. Perhaps you can purge this level of beasts for me? Pew. Again, charged in an incredibly dangerous mission by a mysterious power that gains, uh, that gains us nothing in return. I really am going to keep taking orders from her, Kane. If I did not know you better, I would believe you act out of jealousy. Accept it, High Courier. Our avatar is construct born of duty. He has no motives or reasoning to ask task us. Okay, so he's he's crushing on the avatar. I get it. Obligations that it turns out that align with our very own goals. That you already forget we must reach the bottom for some reason. Or something bad will happen that we don't know yet. Still I wish we had told us she had told us more about the technology of this tower. At least where we can find some machines to study. Give her too much credit, Chief. Oh my god, drama! Get out of here. <laughs> oh, there's so much drama and racism in this fucking lore. So much. Wow, we can see them. They are dual wielding sticks or some shit. Got a chest, though. Okay, so what did I get? I got a tier 2 ring that gives us. It's a ring of Helios. It's actually a fucking unique ring. 10% fire resi, minus 30% water resi. Why would I ever put this on? Day's immunity. Oh, minus 30 mana points. Okay, we are going to keep this on. Well, keep it in our inventory, but not going to use it, because that would be foolish. I got a tier 2 hand crossbow. Too bad. Alright, we have some damage. Speed. Main damage. Day's chance. Armor pan. It's kind of bad. Kind of bad. Ooh. No crit chance. Ew. So it looks like this is giving us tier 2 stuff, so we're going to roll the shit out of it. What is this? 20 health points with 1 health regen. That is so bad. What the fuck? Oh. Staff. Vampiric Darkwood Staff of Destruction. It's Earth. A lot of Earth. What's our other Earth? I think this is, yeah. Double Earth, basically. Almost, not really. More resistances. No stun days blind because it's not chaotic finally. Double magic penetration. More health, more mana. More health per hit. Ooh, health per hit. Because it's vampiric. 16 crit chance. Oh, baby. That's pretty cool. Although it is Earth. Skeletons don't really care about Earth. I think the the wraiths don't like Earth. Um, orcs like Earth. These dickheads down there probably like Earth as well. Let's keep rolling. I want to get some tier 2 defensive items or something. It's another ring. Garbage. Man, this is loot box. Loot box city. Ooh, hood. Is it for her? It is for this guy. Ooh, magic hood. Uh, how is it worse? Oh, skill power. Uh, holy shit. A lot of skill power. I'll take it. Very strong end. Very strong uh, whatever the fuck. Strong healing. This is still garbage, obviously. Actually, that skill power is probably not worth it. 
We lose 25 mana. Yeah, we're not going to take that. It's pretty good, but... What? Ooh, a two-handed axe. Oh, wait, it gave us a purple crystal. Okay, we're going to keep it. We're not going to keep this, though. I saw, like, 70-something damage. Obviously worse than what he has. All right. We got a purple crystal from it, which is nice. Below your champions see another group of beasts next to a large number of orc bodies. They hope that their path will not lead them th through this area. Mm, it will, because it's a battle. <laughs> We're going down there, lads. Going down there to fuck shit up. 24 gold. Oh, we're getting good gold now. Stop giving me shit. Crates. Champions see a lot of crates with markings which you now recognize as orcish. Seems like this is their main staging area. They brace themselves for an imminent ambush. For a long while, long while, long while, unexpectedly nothing happens. Yeah, they're not coming. They're dying here. Ooh, a small forge. I wanted to upgrade her gauntlets, right? Yes. And it gives us one life. We don't care about that. <laughs> we don't care for the one life on her shit. Something better. It gives us Montanus. Earth resistance. But minus 20 mana points. What the fuck? I don't want to reduce her mana. Yeah. We need something like damage. Volcanic. It reduces our mana again, but it gives us fire resistance now. Oh my god, stop with that shit! Please. Healthy. Again, one life. You know what? Healthy it is. Fuck it. She, she's got some life. She's got life. Done. Easy. I got a chest here. Oh my god. Gotta roll. Gotta roll everything. Ooh, a tier two one handed earth rock. That's a lot of earth. We keep it. Corrupted zone, strange plant. Oh god. We're just going down the big staircase. So we touched that. Steel gate is on the other side, I think. Wait, is it on the other side, or did I miss that? I like how his torch never goes away. The infinite torch. This game is literally torch, right? Torchlight. Literally. Okay, does it look like they're all 24. Oh, that's only 22. I should read all that. I'm not going to, but I could have. What books? Your champions see a lot of books scattered here. When I come closer to inspect them, they see that they are covered with some green substance, which has burned most of the pages. Slime! I'm telling you, it's demons. Demons. Oh, they are already looking at us. What the fuck? That's not fair. That's not fair. How do you see us? Gross-ass fucking things. Oh, wait. We are going to run to them? I hope I saved. Oh, we just protect the gold and that creepy statue. A group of beasts sit crouched in ambush, waiting to spring upon your champions as they enter. Yet, to your surprise, the creatures do not attack. Instead, they sit still, snarling and watching, clearly assessing the prey before moving in for the kill. From a quick survey of the area, your champions realize they cannot pass without going through them. They ready their weapons in grim determination, uncertain to what to expect from this enemy. Well, I mean... First, get some gold. So they gave gold to this statue here. They're religious. We're gonna save and check what their resistances are. Hello! Buzzing terror. Spike creature. Aqua creature. What the fuck? What the fuck? Savage beasts are attacking your party. Where did they come from? 
Your champions, champions have believed that the orcs are fierce and brutal, but those creatures make them docile sheep by comparison. You need to learn what this enemy is capable of. Yes. So this like this doesn't like fire. This is neutral to fire, which means it doesn't like it because everything else is holy shit. And this hates fire. Oh wow. Loves water. So I'm gonna swap out the dude's water skill to earth, even though their earth is high as well. Air is also decent against them, so Maeve and Kane are going to be okay with their skills. The Rune Lord is going to be absolutely crucial here, just lobbing fire shit at them. Let's see the details. Buzzing Terror. <laughs> Looks so cute. <laughs> One of the strange beasts that come to inhabit to the third level of the tower. These giant insects hunt in packs, joining the battle with speed and attacking with great ferocity at short distance. Spitting sharp projectiles at close range with a crude but effective strategy. The fucking Hydralisks. I don't think they can be domesticated. Not at all. Physical. Not a lot of armor. Very fast. So these are just... These are basically the orc crossbowmen. Spike creature. One of the strange beasts that came to inhabit the third level. They have huge horns made of what looks like metalized bone. This fearsome melee fighter has an attack that, while relatively slow, does decent damage and can pierce our steel armor with ease. Yeah, it can. It has a lot of armor. So it's the it's the armored cyclops. Leap. No targets in melee range. Leaps. Putting damage upon impact. Champions are dazed for one second, so it can close distance and it can taunt. Reflects 15% physical damage dealt. Both melee and range. Back to your champion. So the enemy's the AI stunt is not threat generation. It's just fucking reflect. And we have the Aqua creature. <laughs> uh, what a name. Looks like a combination of humanoid and fish. Shooting hard jelly-like projectiles over a large distance. Water damage. I think our water resist is the worst. So that's not gonna be good. No armor penetration. Barely any armor. You're gonna fucking melee these fucking things. Freezing Bolt, 20 water damage, freeze for 15 seconds, Ice Cage has 40 health and can be destroyed. Wait, what? What? This is not Ice Cage, it's Freezing Bolt. What? Unless it creates an Ice Cage as well. I don't know. Maybe. So it does water damage and water damage over time. And maybe Ice Cage or maybe someone fucked up. Water Splash, Spear of Acid Water that deals water damage in 3 meters. Targets are slowed. Yeah, yeah. Yuck! Withdraw. <laughs> I like how they just go back. So they don't like fire. What is this again? Oh, daisy immunity. Don't care. It dazes us, us with the leap for like one second. I don't care about that. You have your shit ready. Um, what is this? Air. No, 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 no. Fire. You want fire. And you are also fire. And, oh yeah, and, 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 Earth Fury. Better than the water. A little bit. At least against the Aqua Girl, or Aqua Fish, or Aqua Creature. I don't know why I said Aqua Girl. <laughs> Although I don't like it as much as the uh, Ice Cloud. Because it's just... It just throws three stones. I can't upgrade it either, so I can't put the thing onto the other side. Yeah! Alright, let's fight these new enemies. Hello again! Yes? Yes! Affirmative! Wait, why is your sword blue? What the fuck do you have on? Wait, that's your lively sword. Oh, I think it has a little bit of water on it. Look at his resist. Okay, his water resist is the highest, actually. 26, 11, 15. Yeah. Oh, my cat wants something. What is this shit? Heroes move and speed minus one. Great. Yes. New music, I think. Which is nice. Oh, they come! They buzz! I feel like they don't care about traps either. Hold on, let's see. Oh, 
Alright guys, get the, to the fuck in there. Holy shit! Yes, my lord. He's getting murdered. He's getting murdered, man. At once, sire. Yes, moving. Onwards oh. to the fray. Got leaped. Money Marte. My blade is yours to command. Oh, they're ranged. All right. Oh yeah, the aqua people. The water. I am a lord. Ready to serve, my lord. That guy needs some more mana. Affirmative. Of course. Dude, get the fuck in there and attack. What the hell is that dildo? Moving out. Is that the ice cage? I never miss. I need to kill this fucking thing. My blade is yours to command. All right. Yes. Blind. Wait, you walked back in it. I never miss. I never miss me. <laughs> we'll do. At your service. Ready to serve, my lord. Are we done? She almost got murdered by those fucking flies because they were all just focusing on her. Tier 2 Warshoes of Gust. Gust. August. Warshoes. Oh, Warshoes are... Magic. Okay. Warshoes of Gust. Uh, okay. A little more resistances, more health. More movement speed, more attack speed. Less armor, because it's not a construct thing. But... Not sure. Gives five more health, two more attack speed. I mean, that's good. This guy might need some more speed. Yeah, speed and mastery for him. Speed and might for her. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna pop shit. 35 crit, 46 crit. Oh my god, it's so good. Anyways. Yeah, I might stop here. We had our first foray with the new enemy. Now they're going to be the biggest foes. Because goddamn mosquitoes are dangerous if I don't deal with them. I didn't pay attention to whether they cared about the floor traps or not. But I imagine they don't care because they're flying, right? They fly over runes and spike traps. They should at least. But this guy got absolutely brutalized. Nice shield though. Savagery of the beast suppressed that of the orcs. The bodies lying here are mangled by teeth and claw. Your champions almost pity them. But they don't. Anyways, it's gonna be it for today. Third floor. I'm going to see what it gives, what it does. Hopefully we get a new champion, and then I'll have to contemplate who I take and who I leave behind for like a couple hours. Which is always going to be fun. But we need more money, because we need upgrades. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Game is getting more intricate, I guess, with new enemies. The lore is fucking basic, but that's alright. Goodbye!